Just give me one more second here. Cat decide what fed. He's in mid season four, clearly. Oh, I need water for my cat. One more. for the first time here, right? Yeah, first time? Okay. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay. You can probably hear the congestion on me, but greetings, everybody. I'm going to be playing a new game after being uh, down and out of commission for a little while there. Caught a, uh, caught a nice cold after exhausting myself on an assignment. So that was uh, super fun. And plus, we also had first week of class at uh, the university I work at. So it's been a very... Uh, it's been a very interesting two weeks, but I'm looking forward to taking a break today, playing a uh, game that I didn't realize that the English version of it had come out. So this is a game that came out like a year and a half ago, but it only came out in Japanese. And uh, so, but uh, it came out, the English patch of it finally came out. Oh, it would help if I just get that cable on correctly. But um, the English version came out in July, just uh, on July 5th, I believe. And so that's very exciting. So welcome, everybody. <laughs> there we go. We finally made it on. So how is everybody doing? I hope everybody's weekend is going very well. I am Resplendent Seraph, and today we are going to be playing a game from a studio that I have a great deal of affection for. Uh, Nihon Falcom's uh, uh, The Legend of Heroes Trails Through Daybreak. And The Legend of Heroes is a series of theirs. This is actually technically the 11th game in the series. So I'm skipping ahead a little bit because I didn't want to play. The reason why I haven't played any of those games, and my favorite is Trails of Cold Steel, specifically one. Uh, two is a slight step down for me, but Trails of Cold Steel one and two are the creme of the creme of those games. Uh, but the problem is I wasn't necessarily that big a fan of three and, and especially not four. Uh, they're good, quote unquote, but but they end up turning into like almost like a harem anime. So for me. Um, it was just like a stylistic choice that I was like, eh, really? We're, we're doing this? And we're not just doing this for one game. We're, we're now doing this for like two games? Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, if it were me, Trails of Cold Steel 3 and 4 would have just been condensed into one game to make it a trilogy. And I think that would have narratively flown a lot better. Uh, plus, you, get, you had a lot of feature creep. The actual games themselves, 3 and 4, just weren't nearly as fun. This game... There is a bit of a feature reset, so I really don't know a lot about this because one of the Seraph's big things is I, I like to kind of go in with fresh eyes, blind and all that. Uh, and sometimes that works out very lovely uh, because I get the true like experience of, of really getting through it the first time and being amazed by things. And uh, I, I really don't like spoilers. <laughs> it, it, anybody who's followed the channel in any which way kind of knows that about me. Uh, so, um, so we're playing a new one and this is going to be, this is a little bit of a soft reboot for the series. So it's an RPG. So the little I do know about it is it's a soft reboot. The combat system gets a complete makeover. It loses a lot of features, which apparently a lot of people didn't necessarily like. I suspect I'm going to like that a lot because I didn't really like the feature creep. It's almost like anybody who's played tabletop RPGs, who's played D&D, who's played D&D 3, and then you get 3.5 and you get all the supplements out and you get just this, this albatross of a system where if you're trying to stream it, like we are going to do here today, if you're trying to stream that, <laughs> that's not really helpful unless you start at the very, very fucking beginning. And I really wasn't looking forward to playing, you know, eight different games just to get to Trails of Cold Steel 1. And so this seems like a good start for new players. I think that was Falcom's intent. And so we're going to do that. And um, 
anyway, let's let's get this party started here. I, I don't I literally uh, let's, let's first off, let's go to in game and let's go experience this. And I don't think I have anything set for this. Capture any full screen. Good. OK, because it's also been a while since I've even tried to run my streaming setup. So it's like, uh, what what broke in the two weeks that I've been that I've been a little sick? Uh, uh, well, you know, considering I wasn't even able to talk really until today, uh, you know, we, we could do that at some point. Um, hit me up in discord. So anyway, um, let's play, let's play trails through daybreak and see how this goes. Uh, well, we don't have a latest save. So yeah, let's just play legend of heroes trails through daybreak. Probably going to run the first run thing. Oh, we can close Firefox. We don't need that running. Let's see. Does OBS grab it? Yes. It's always nice when OBS grabs it properly. Let's see. That sounds like good game audio. It looks good. Perfect. All right, so far so good. This is a nice start because I didn't test this in any way, shape, or form. So it's nice to know. Um, it's nice to know that it does actually work. All right, good. So let's take a look here. Okay, yeah, we want English. We definitely want. Okay, so yeah, this is what I was talking about. This wasn't even an option uh, up until July fifth, which I didn't even realize. I think this is probably yeah. No, we're we're not doing auto advanced messages. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, high speed mode. I don't even know what that is. Asset caching, uh, burns off asset caching. Safest option, minimize the game's memory consumption. May lead to slightly longer load times. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll do auto. <laughs> so I've got a decent system. I'm not running on a, on a potato here. Let's see, dash mode, toggle. Uh, okay. Command battle camera mode. I'm thinking we'll just keep a lot of these defaults, but we'll look through it anyway. Display mode, borderless. Yep, that looks good. We'll go with that. Frame rate limit. Yeah, sure. Why not? It's never going to go past that anyway. I don't have an HDR screen. Sadly, I would love an HDR screen, but uh, <laughs> not, not quite yet. Let's see. Um, this is probably these are probably okay. No, we don't need motion blur. We'll turn that off. Motion blur is like the bane of my existence. Aliasing. All this looks like it should be fine. Yeah, this is one of the heaviest loads on a graphics card, the volumetric lighting. So. Um, and very often, I find that when I tweak this, and I'm not going to tweak a lot of these, I'm just looking for any like really obvious uh, settings to change here. But um, I can't tell you how many times where I'll just dial down the volumetric lighting and the FPS of a game increases dramatically. And for the most part, I usually can't tell the difference. Usually, there are some games uh, where you, not only you can, but also at some degrees. Like with Cyberpunk, uh, I can't tell the difference between... Uh, medium, high, they're like turbo or whatever the hell they call it. Um, but if you turn it any less than that, like to low, then all of a sudden you really see it. So, you know, it's like anything else when you're tweaking performance. A lot of times you just kind of have to experiment with it. But for right now, I think we're just going to go with some of the obvious ones here. Uh, one thing I will do, though, is let's lower the background and the sound effects. But we'll... Let's go. Let's go. Okay, never mind. That actually is probably an okay. That probably isn't okay. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, that's probably fine. Okay. Uh, environmental volume and. Not on the beat. Not <laughs> that that sound effect. That never ceases to make to, to make me laugh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we don't need to display any music information. Button prompts all look fine. Button prompts. Oh, button prompts. I could switch it from that, but we're on Steam, so we're just going to leave this the same. Uh, I think all this looks fine to me. 
don't really see anything crazy here. And now we're back to this stuff. So, uh, I think we're fine here. Um, so one thing I do know, having gone through this, is... Oh, there's a backstory. We could view the archive. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're going to do that just now. We'll, we'll just start with a new game and we'll see how we'll see how we go. Uh, typically, I usually play games on normal, so I'm going to do the same here. Figuring that normal is the game mode that the, the game is really designed for. All right, so we're going to Calvert here. Now I have played most of the previous games. So if there are any kind of weird references and contexts that feel like you should know, but they this game doesn't explain, I'll do my best to explain them. For the most part, I feel like we should be good to go from what everything I've heard. We should be able to go in fresh as if we didn't know anything. So I'm going to try to avoid long there expositions. Go. Got the goods. Wasn't easy to find this, you know. Went around every damn antique shop in the capital before we came across it. Yeah, and now my legs hurt like a bitch for it. Gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Well earned, I'm sure. Open the case so we can confirm its contents then. So far, this looks a lot better than previous entries. This does appear to be what the boss has asked for. It looks authentic to me, too. Ah, uh, this ain't no knockoff. It's the real thing. So, we good for a million? And where did you pull that figure from? I believe we agreed on 100,000 Mira down, and 300,000 more upon completion of the job. Yeah, well, that was then, and this is now. Inflation ain't pretty, you feel me? Doesn't sound very fair that we busted our asses for something so important only for a little loose change. And there's a lot of rumors going around about you guys. How about it? You treat us right, and this could be the start of something real nice here. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. I suppose you do deserve a little extra something. <laughs> Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. You gotta be kidding me! Oh, you think we won't play? What? What is this? Huh? Should have known your place. Word to the wise: Don't try to blackmail someone higher up on the food chain. Damn it. The cops! When did they start patrolling down here? Idiots. Must have been on your tail. Let's just get out of. What? What? Where did it go? I don't know any better than you! What are you doing down here? Here. We're done. Let's scram. We ain't gonna wait around to get busted, neither! <laughs> this wasn't how it's supposed to go! <laughs> Suspects in sight! Seems that tip paid off. Apprehend them! <laughs> Even those dumbasses in the police force have their uses once in a while. Things gotta be worth a shit ton of mirror if A wants it that bad. Hmm. Guess I should check the Black Light District. Or maybe there would be a better place to start. So I've heard a lot of good things about Black Myth Wukong. Thanks for your patronage. Hope to see you again. Just you now. We're about to close for the day. Yeah, I hear ya. Either Dead or Sal was talking, talking up that game. Uh, he was basically encouraging everybody in his stream to play it. <laughs> so yeah, it looks it looks really fun. Yeah, I hear you. Come on, gotta take this upstairs, Yums. Uh, I'm gonna go to bed.
good then. Night, night. Night, night. Grandpa loves you. Good night, sweetie. Don't forget to brush your teeth first, all right? This one's on me, Van. <laughs> Thanks. These little perks are why they call you the diva of the diner, you know? That doesn't sound like a very flattering title, but I'm guessing it is. <laughs> well, this diva is very welcome. Think you can butter her up, do you? You really shouldn't enable him. Hmm. <laughs> I sure smell something brewing. And it ain't the coffee. So far, so good. I mean, granted, we don't really know much about the game, but um, I do know that Falcom built mm. this engine in-house from the ground up, and so far, this engine looks pretty good. Well, that's another dead end for me. Typical. I guess going above board for this is going to keep getting me nowhere fast. <sighs> I think I'll have to take her advice after all. As bad as I feel exploiting loopholes in the law. And typical exceed. Bingo. It was stolen from an antique shop in the capital last weekend, but because it could have been stolen goods, the shop never reported it. Hmm. This has trouble written all over it. I have no idea if this person even exists, but let's plug in that code she gave me. Oh, it worked after all! Well, well, guess we'll find out if that's us or if that's part of the plot here. But typically with these Falcom games, you get like this little prologue you play through and then it gives you the intro. Oh, we're in, we're in Edith, the capital of Calvert. Cool. looks like the building. What an adorable bistro this is. It has such a welcoming storefront. So is the place I'm looking for really right above here? Oh, are you a customer perhaps? It's still breakfast hours if you're interested. Or is it the office upstairs you're here for? It is the office, actually. Is this where I can find Arkride Solutions? That's right. He only just finished breakfast himself, so I'm sure you'll still find him in his office. He might have gone back to bed, though, so don't be shy about knocking a few times to get his attention. <laughs> so obviously, it's going to be us. I'm guessing we're either some sort of mercenary or a private detective. Complicated matters only. Um, yeah, no, no easy cases. Well, it doesn't get more complicated than mine. You probably do recognize it, Crosshair. I was just about to get to the to that typical Exceed. Um, Exceed is not a particularly large company, and so their localizations. They recycle voice talent uh, like crazy. Hey, Darkstar, greetings. We're gonna knock it. Just kick down the damn door. <laughs> How you doing, my friend? You can probably First still thing in the morning. You can probably still tell I'm a little nasally here. Uh, but yeah, I, I, you've heard her voice actress before, <laughs> for sure, and uh... his as well. You're, uh, not really here with a job, right? I... I am! I have something I'd really like your help with, so if you don't mind, sir... Which drives me personally crazy, because one of the things that 
really interrupts the verisimilitude for me. Thank you very much. Is when I uh, figure out, oh, I know that voice actress. And now instead of me seeing it as this blonde haired girl, I'm seeing her as, you know, four different characters from games just in this series alone, let alone, you know, other things. Um, so some some voice actresses are, are better with that than others. Like Todd Habercorn is one of the worst because he's got such a distinctive voice that the second I hear him, I'm like, okay, Natsu. And I'm like, all right, do I continue watching this in dubbed or do I switch to the subbed because I can't stop hearing or associating this particular character with Natsu or, you know, um, his character in um, History's Midas Disciple uh, Kenichi, uh, Nijima. Uh, yeah, that's how I'm good with Craig Kuhn, yeah, <laughs> and Craig Chun. Yep, it, it drives me crazy. Uh, same, same, similar with Brittany Kerbowski. She's got, she's very good. Mind you, these are not criticisms of the voice talents, right? This is not a, 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 this is not a criticism of Habercorn or Kerbowski. Probably, it's probably something good for them because if, uh, typically in that industry, you want to have this like, you know, Johnny Von Bosch voice that's so distinctive. But for, for me, being a consumer of anime content, I don't want somebody with this like unique, very distinctive, great voice, weird as that might sound. I want somebody who could either change, like Jeremy Lee is the exception because she could change her register on such a scale that a lot of times, I, as long as I'm not trying to figure out like, hmm, where have I heard that? Like I did that with Cyberpunk where all of a sudden, you know, V starts talking, I'm like, I know that voice. And I'm like, brain, shut up. Don't piece it together. And then, uh, and then, I'll, oh, that's actually really awesome. You met Greg Chun. That's sweet. Um, and, uh, and of course, I mean, like my brain, you know, it's almost like that mean of like, shut up brain. And it's like, no, no, no. I think I've like, shut up brain. I'm like, oh yeah, Jeremy Lee. I'm like, God damn it, brain. I told you, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, like I was watching uh, Reincarnated as a Slime. And the second, you know, Brittany Kabrowski started talking as, as, you know, the main character, I'm like, nope. Got to go to subbed because I'm thinking Railgun. <laughs> like, you know, I could watch Railgun because that was the first thing I saw her in. So that I always watch dubbed. But anything else that Karbowski's in that I recognize her in, and it's really easy because she's got such a distinctive voice, I have to switch to the subs. Um, yeah, if I hear Greg Chun's voice, I end up associating the character with either Kev from Saints Row Reboot or Riep or Konami from from AL Somnium Files. Uh, yeah, I'm right there. I'm right there with uh, with you, Dark Star. It's it's. I feel like sometimes I'm taking crazy pills because so many of my friends think it's fun to associate like who, what voice actor is with what character. And sometimes it's like they, they kind of just like get ahead of themselves. They get so excited by figuring it out. And I'm like, well, first of all, you got like all of 20 people at Xseed and Funimation. So you're not exactly dealing with huge groups of people. You're dealing with like one studio in Los Angeles and another in Houston. So it's a very limited pool to pull, to pull from. It's like not very difficult to figure out who's who. Um, but yeah, it, it just, it pulls me out of it. It completely destroy, destroys the immersion. Sorry about that little tangent here. Uh, but yeah, you. So needless to say, you probably do recognize your voice. First, I'd like to tell you a little about myself. My name is Agnes Clodel. I currently attend a school in the Ober District. Our Miss Academy, yeah? Pretty famous school. Guess you're a first year student living in the dorms, Miss Clodell? You're very well informed. Oh, was it my uniform that gave it away? Might have been a clue, Agnes. You got it. Though I think anybody who lives in Edith would recognize it. Uh, the first year part's just my gut. You sure got the looks of a grown woman, but the way you carry yourself says it all. God damn it, Japan. I. I beg your pardon? Yeah, no shit. <sighs> the name's Van. Van Arkride. Don't got a clue how you found out about me, but if you know the 4SBG code, you gotta know what work I do here, right? I do. You're a contractor people go to when they have a job they feel uncomfortable discussing with the police or the guild. Okay, we're calling him a contractor. I'm told people often refer to you as a Spriggan. That works too. Close, but not quite. 
Okay, it's not, not just an issue of comfort. I take on jobs you flat out couldn't bring up to the authorities. Jobs so close to illegal, the cops hate me. You get that, right? I'm getting major uh, Ryudo Geohound vibes. Uh, I, I think so. Well, whatever. Just give me a rundown on what you want doing for starters. I'll decide whether to take it on after that. Yeah, Wendy Lee, yeah. But thank you, in that case. Holy shit. They'll tell me Aramis gives all new students Zyphus these days. Those things are top of the line. No, but, um, you're not far off. Please have a look at this. An antique pocket watch? Wait. So one of the interesting things about this series, I'm just going to give a little context here. Um, from the very, very first um, Tales games, a lot of these technological innovations haven't really come about yet. And so even though you get, like right now, you've got characters with essentially cell phones here. Um, hey, freak bot, right, right? Look at my old ass flip phone. So I was just getting to talking about that where, um, where this flip phone for this is very new for the setting. Like in Trails of Cold Steel 3, they get like video on their phones for the first time and they're like, oh, yeah, I could see you on the phone. And it's like kind of neat. And like, even though it's a little, it's a little cringe, even how you doing freak bot. Um, but yeah, the very start of these games, you know, cause we're at, this is game 11 now. Um, and so we're playing, uh, we're playing Legend of Heroes Trails Through Daybreak. Uh, because the English version just dropped in July. I actually didn't I actually didn't even notice that the English version of this dropped. Um, and so this is technically game 11 of the series. And so in game one or even two, you're not even dealing with a lot of these developments. And so over the course of these games, you're going through almost like not just a renaissance, but also an industrial revolution. And these are one of the main things that ends up driving a lot of the conflict in these stories. It, it's actually one of the nicest, it's one of the best things that makes this series unique. Uh, and I think it's it, it lends a lot of strength to a lot of the narratives. Uh, when you finally get around to playing the Zero Escape games I lent you, you'll immediately be able to pick, uh, yeah, oh, I'm sure, I'm sure. So actually, Darkstar, funny you mentioned that, because I was actually thinking about playing that today. Because one of the things I'm thinking about doing, um, all right, let me let me get through this scene, but then remind me about about uh, the Zero Escape games. I was I was thinking about that just today. This is what I want your help with. I'd like your assistance in locating the old orb mint in that image. It's a few decades old and a memento of a relative of mine, um, my great grandfather. I can't seem to beat Black Myth Wukong. Um, I mean, I've heard it's a, it's a challenging game. I haven't played it myself yet. I actually haven't. I think I've seen very, very little footage of it because either Sal or, or uh, Deadfool was playing that. Hmm. But it looks fun as hell. Where'd you get this image? It was, well, it wasn't through an ordinary search engine. I'll say that. So ordnance are um, basically this world's version of like technical slash Magitech devices. I got enough something to go for. <laughs> I mean, that's what she's alluding to here. So you're you're like not wrong, I don't think. I, I think you're 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 spot on here. Records indicate it was stolen from an antique shop in the city a week ago. So the, the setting does have its version of a, a very primitive internet at the moment. I'm gonna assume I forget what its name is. Special search app based on a P4 protocol exploit. Not what I was expecting. Um I'll give it to you straight. Take this one of the cops or the guild. I don't know what kind of orbment this is, but it looks like it's got a whole lot of historical value. And you mentioned it was stolen. Likely some seedy folks are involved at this point. Tor is probably a little more accurate there, Darkstar. And uh, this is 2002. <laughs> Still a set up and tell that BBSs. That is very true. For people that don't know, Telnet BBSs were simultaneously awesome, but also not an experience you. I, I don't. I wouldn't recommend it. But for the time, it was it was burdensome. But boy, was though were those days fun. Besides, 
Searching for a memento of a relative sounds like something those suckers at the guild would eat right up. S so you say, but... I can't. I just can't. I can't go to the police with this. And the guild is even more out of the question. <laughs> <sighs> if you say so. Oh, I guess I should have put out something to eat with the tea, huh? Oh, speaking of food... This is from a popular cakery near our dorm. They only make 20 of them a day, and they're supposed to be really good- This is Andalusia's late summer limited time edition! <laughs> so, uh... I, I, I don't really like doing in-jokes, but, uh, Freakbot, I imagine that would be Psyche on some sort of limited edition suite that only gets made, like, 20 a day of. And that is such a reaction I would expect from her for something like that. Especially made tart. <laughs> figs from Orid and Honey. <laughs> you are something of an expert, I see. Yeah, awkward. See, if he's not going to take the job, just bribe him. <laughs> it was weird seeing him actually emote. <laughs> Here to take the job. Please don't hurt me. Um... I just want to make this clear. I'm not doing this because I couldn't say no to that tart. Got it? <laughs> you bullshit! You were totally saying no. You were going all about the no. You had a cake in front of you, and then you said yes. Don't give me that bullshit. If you say so. <laughs> you must be a connoisseur of sweets, huh? And yeah, this is also a typical Exceed uh, localization and Falcom kind of convention where... Their budget is a little limited, and voice acting games is one of the biggest expenses. So they tend to voice act a lot of the beginning, and then they'll switch to text for most of the game, except for the important, you know, plot point shifting things. I thought you would wolf it down right on the spot, but you put it in the fridge with all the care given to a family heirloom. It's Andalusia. What kind of sick freak wouldn't save it for an end of the day treat? Oh, I'm so jealous you live near that place. Must be nice being a student. Yeah, we never have a hard time getting the limited time ones, to be honest. So, Mr. Arkride, are you really accepting my job then? Got a new phone stand, cool. Yeah, same for Tokyo Xanadu, yep. And exactly, they and they also made Tokyo Xanadu, so they made, they did the same thing there. Um, which I never finished, I probably won't now after... <laughs> and I probably won't now after playing Persona 5! <laughs> so yeah, I... I, I so, yes. For, uh, so this is one of the reasons why I stream these games and, and probably not you, because these are very text heavy, story heavy games. This is going to be like watching a movie interspaced with some gameplay in between. I suspect 80% of this, of these streams will probably be plot. Um, now I don't know that for sure, but I'm going to guess because these, the Trails games in particular tend to be very, very story heavy. Um... That tart only got you in the front door. You're still going to have to pay my usual rate. And that's a hell of a lot more than what the guild charges. That's fine. I have the money. Now, where are we going first? Seen old geezer knows more about thieving than most. He's as skeezy as you get, but there's no better guy in times like these. Should be in the 6th district right about now. Near the river? Are we taking the subway then? Nah, the bus will get us there at this hour. Alright, so there's a subway here. That's good to know. I know it's not even 11, but I want this job done before the end of the day so I can toast our success with Miss Goodlooking in the fridge. <laughs> then I'm counting on you, Mr. Arkride. Same to you. Well, the Tokyo, Tokyo Xanadu chapters are like five hours long. Yeah, four and a half were probably just text and dialogue. That, yeah, that's from what I remember, yeah. Now, the difference with Tokyo Xanadu is, uh, unlike these games, is Tokyo Xanadu took the East... Um, combat system and so when you went into dungeons it wasn't turn-based like this is going to be uh so tokyo xanadu you were almost playing like a trails game for the story and then when you went into the dungeon you were playing east for a little while and then the dungeon would end and you would go right back to the story part so yeah if, if for for those that are not a huge fan of just story like the xeno saga where you just like kick back and watch a movie uh th these could be these could be slogs van's fine by the way if you're sure. Yeah, I, yeah I, I'm sure you love the dungeons. So you'll see when I... And I might I might play East 8 before finishing East 7. It, because East 8 is such a fun game. And I might even just start playing that tomorrow. Um, 
I, I, I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to, to resist just go digging right into that. Then why don't you call me Agnes? Nope, we're on a first name basis already, which again, I think most people who play JRPGs know the whole uh, first name thing. That's a, it's kind of a big deal. Um, so anyway, let's take a look here. Let's see what we got. Uh, Kerm talk, use topic, use shop. Okay. Skip. Okay. Well, none of those buttons mean anything to me because I don't have those buttons. So I'm going to have to figure those out. Uh, we got a charge attack is right trigger. Um, all right. So auto text on. I'm going to have to keep it on. All right. So that's going to be switched leader. Okay. Unlocks the story progresses. Okay. So far, so good. And open main menu via... Okay, so once I figure out what that menu is... Oh, let's go Spriggan. Begin taking our request to Spriggan. Cool. Okay, so that's how we access the map. Sweet. All right, so this is how we do this. Okay, we access the main menu. Each menu corresponds to a different action. Uh, let's check status graphs. Uh, okay. Tactics. I don't want to select tactics. Let's see. Okay, so that is that menu. Yeah, let's save the game. Perfect. We go back to the game options. Alright, so items are in or Y. Interesting. So look at that. They have Y and X in the opposite spots. So let's. All right, well, that might be a little confusing. Hmm. Seraph's debating how I configure my controller at the moment. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I, I, I caught that earlier uh, that you're playing Back Myth Wukong. Um, so yeah, no, 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 and I commented earlier, maybe you stepped away. But uh, yeah, a lot of streamers are, are playing that right now. Actually, Deader Sal was uh, talking up uh, Black Myth Wukong. Uh, it looks like a really fun game. Um, that's going to be really awkward. So here's my main issue. Oh, no. Okay. That's why I'm not going to do that. Okay, so now I've got a decision to make. Because, um, well, all right. Well, let's exit out of that. God, that's annoying. Um, all right. So my button controller doesn't match quite the main menu here. I'm just going to have to... Remember that ornament and items are in the opposite place. I think that's going to be okay, though. So let's go to status. Let's just take a look here. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're okay. So I've got two crafts. I can... Uh, only problem with Black Myth Wukong is with the stuttering. Aww. Do you play on a PC or do you play on console? I'm going to want new soda in a second. So I'm just familiarizing myself here with the status screen here. Chat, just give me two seconds. Um, and we're just kind of being Edith. Yep. I'm just freaking operating out of Edith's old town. So we're good here. Uh, items. We do have a couple of items. So tear bomb is your typical, you know, healing item. EP charge that essentially heals up your magic. Um, in previous games, I have been underwhelmed with EP and arts. Uh, I've generally more been more of a crafts person. PC. Okay, cool. Well, um, yeah. Sucks that you have to deal with stuttering. Um, that's never super fun. Maybe there's going to be a patch to the game that helps stabilize things. Uh, and then it cures ailments, cures stat down. Okay. So I've got, oh, got a decent number of these. And of course they've got DLC because of course they've got DLC. But uh, for the most part... I think Falcom handles DLC okay. I never bother buying any of the DLC, but usually DLC are like outfits and, and things of that nature. Cooking, I guess cooking is going to be a part of this. Uh, all right, so here are my weapons. And I've got standard of that. All right, how much money do I have? All right, I start off with a thousand Mira, and we have, and Sepeth is usually how we'll craft um, ornaments and uh, ultimately. Well, we'll deal with ornaments when when that comes along. Um, we'll we'll figure out how this game handles ornaments. All right. So we could go here. Let's 
supposed to go in here? I'm supposed to go in here. I'm gonna need to blow my nose in a second. Ben, good morning! Huh? Hey, you miss. Good to see you. You look ready to take on the world. Alright, so there's Yumi. We saw her earlier. Have you brushed your teeth, washed your face, had breakfast? You better, or else you're in big trouble. I have promised. Jeez. Who's the adult between us two? Not you. You're too messy. You don't take care of yourself. So, zero escape. Oh, right. You'd buy my... Thank you. I, uh, so... Uh, I found a way to essentially stream my PS5 to my PC. Um, there's actually a so there's literally a first party program that uh, you could download from Sony's website that allow me to uh, essentially remote control my PS5 from my PC. Yeah, remote play. I had no idea. Um, so I'm gonna configure remote play for my PC, and I was thinking about streaming the uh, Zero games, the Zero Escape games, um, as I play them, uh, assuming I don't just start playing them downstairs and just like do it off stream um but i was actually really thinking about doing that uh i may be like eight years old but i will fucking fold you in half man <laughs> uh so yeah i'm really thinking about that um so we'll, we'll see if i do that or not but uh but yeah i was really really thinking about that uh but yeah at the very least now that i've kind of gotten my boat like gotten um through the summer and all that i think i'll finally have a chance to actually play those games i'm looking forward to it um it sounded like a really fun recommendation. Did you make a new friend? Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. She's adorable. Her family are my neighbors. They run the bistro here. Nice to see you again. Glad you got to talk to Van after all. Oh, I remember you. Yes, thank you for all your help earlier. You two know each other? Not really. She pointed me towards your office when I first came here. It was a big help. That would work since, uh, that would work since input latency really isn't an issue with visual novel puzzle games. See, that's why I figured I would give that a try. That is exactly what I was thinking with that. Because if I, if there is latency, I'll discover it with that game, but I'll still be able to play it and enjoy it. Um, but yeah, if there's going to be input latency, that'll be, that'll be my test bed to find out. Um, and then if there is, not the end of the world. If I play something uh, other than that, um, I'll just play, I'll probably just stream it right from my PS5 if there's something that I wanted to stream. Like, for example, Trails of Cold Steel, if I want to go back to that. Not really. Sh oh, right. I was my help. So, Paulette. There was nothing. Ben's office isn't exactly easy to find anyway. You're not the first to come looking for directions. I honestly didn't think to look for your ass on top of a restaurant as cozy as this one. That caught me by surprise. I wasn't really planning on it, but things shook out like that. Friendly, normal neighbors like these make for a nice front. True. You could stand to be a better one, you know. I still like that murky business years being right on top of mine. <laughs> Good to see you too, Victor. I'm not used to seeing you out during the day. When do you plan on coming? Oh, I see you have a young lady with you today. I better not see you try any funny business with her, understood? Girl that young doesn't need a ruffian like you running her life. Come on, give me at least a little credit. I ain't that much of a degenerate. She's just a normal client. Chill. I don't know about him. Normal, but he's right. I came to him first because I have some business I need his help with. Things must be complicated if you're coming to this idiot for help. <laughs> I like this guy already. <laughs> you go dragging this lady into shady alleys or bad parts of town. I'll have your head on a nice platter before dinner time. We clear. And don't eat any too many sweets. We will get cavities. That's exactly right, my sweet little Yume. We can't forget that. I said, are we clear? Answer me, punk. Yeah, yeah, I'll be careful. Don't kind of grill me in front of a client. <laughs> you and your neighbors look close. Because we've known each other for a while now. Anyway, good luck out there. Stay safe. Let us know if you get hungry. We'll get something for you in no time. Alright, good to know. We can just come here and get food. Uh, approach a shop clerk. Press Y. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense. Can't go wrong with any of them. Lemon cream pasta? Uh, that sounds awesome. I'm not spending... I only have a thousand Mira, so I'm not spending any kind of like ridiculous uh, money here right now. But good to know that we could just go here. Can't exchange any Sepith. Come back I'll explain soon. that when we actually get some more Sepith. Okay, give me two seconds. I'm just going to going to the menu here um, because I do need to blow my nose. Something fierce. Give me two seconds. Plus, I need to get a soda refill. I'll be right back. Give me like one or two minutes.
Good, Pat's asleep. <laughs> Excellent. <sighs> She's so cute when she sleeps. <laughs> hey, Ghosty, how are you, my friend? Sorry, I had to get. I had definitely had to blow my nose. I'm no longer sick. I haven't been sick for like, you know, about a week at this point. But, well, no, no, it hasn't been that long yet. But, uh, but yeah, it's been it's been really difficult to get over this like residual congestion. I didn't really even have my voice back until yesterday. Um. So yeah, I'm still blowing my nose. Something pretty, something awful. Uh, but yeah, it's also why I haven't been. It's why I didn't stream like all week. It's been, uh, yeah. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you, Ghosty. I, I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, colds, colds aren't fun. Um, but it, I knew it wasn't like anything too serious. Like I never had a fever or anything like, like that. I just, just didn't cut. It was just your garden variety. Uh, oh, this sucks. It's so lame. I don't feel good. <laughs> um, how you been, Ghosty? I've been, I've seen you around chats the last couple of weeks, but I figured this is a good time to say hello, greetings. Uh, have you been? We're playing, we're playing an RPG. Uh, that looks fun. So you're Agnes. Nice to meet you. Hey, hey, can you come back again sometime and play with me? You're fun to talk to. It would be my pleasure. Let's make a date for it. All right, it's a date, but let's focus on the job for now. All right, so we are Spriggan. Oh, we can't talk to them? Okay, well, that's fine. Actually, that's nice that they... That's actually kind of cool that they made it so that you didn't have to talk to literally everyone. They just show you who has dialogue. Uh, these mornings before work are so relaxing. When it comes to pre-work coffee, no one does it better than Motmart. You can say that again. Oh, well, let's bruise just hit all the right notes. And don't tell Margaret I said this, but the sight of her serving me just brightens up my day every time. Don't tell her. That's what I'm to do. Hey, cut me some slack, man. All right. So we're getting a little bit of uh, detail here from, from the shop here. Let's learn a little bit about... That sounds like a real radio. Oh, we got a shop here. More candy again. Oh, we got Terrell Times Issue 1. Okay, so typically in a lot of the Trails games, when you've got newspapers, there are either um, side quests that involve that, or um, or uh, various achievements that involve these. So yeah, I'm going to buy this. Yeah, we'll buy that. Because some of these tend to be, let's see, candy that feels like a real cigarette? Yeah, no. Although it's kind of cool that it improves your CP. That's actually kind of nice, but... Yeah, but still. Neat that that's here. Alright, so, uh, okay, so that's where we need to go. What else is here? Let's go chat. Shh. Man, shh. She's gonna find us. We gotta hide from Sheena. Why are you guys hiding? My bad. Didn't realize you guys were playing hide and seek again. I'll get out of here then. Just don't get yourselves into trouble, yeah? <laughs> no problem. She'll never catch me. She always catches me instead. And then she makes me a hostage. Oh, Mark, be positive. We're gonna win it. Man, these kids play some hardcore uh, hide and seek. Okay, okay, all right. I'll run as fast as I can. Good luck with that. <laughs> all right, kids. So where's? Oh, that would have... okay. So they're not gonna let us explore a lot here. Not this way. Okay, so you're not who's being played. Oh, okay. Here's the person getting played. Wish I could give her a good wax right now. Guess it'll have to wait till tomorrow. Oh, hi, Van. Uh, huh? What are you doing here? Oh, well, this must be his garage. Ah, okay. We got some side chat here. No, no, no. Just looking for him. I'm guessing he has a car. I went to go read my favorite novel, but there was a little comic here instead. I just want to talk to him about it, I promise. Oh boy, don't terrorize him too much, okay? Yeah, yeah. So, the kids are playing hide-and-seek, but she doesn't look like she's playing hide-and-seek. Fucking Christ. Fucking kids. 
but man seems quite popular with the children here. Interesting. So where was my garage? Ah, here's my garage. Yeah, let's investigate. This is the garage where Van parks his pickup truck. The shutter is closed. All right, cool. Good to know I have a truck. And for some reason, instead of me taking my pickup truck, we're going uh, to the bus. Natalia. That was simply wonderful this morning. Portmar never disappoints, but deserves my real craving. Whether treats be enough to satisfy my sweet tooth. Oh, Natalia. <laughs> feather, feather of my bird. <laughs> there is nothing like sweets in this world. Oh, there's the bus stop. Yeah, the next one should be here soon. Then we're a hop, skip, and jump away to the Riverside District. Probably got time to grab something from the kiosk if we need to. Uh, we already went to the kiosk. We're, we're fine. Let's wait for the bus. I guess if we didn't already go to the kiosk, it would have given us the choice to do so. Nice to be able to drink something carbonated again instead of just water. Feels good on my poor sore throat. <laughs> well, my previously sore throat. This place is so gorgeous. Man, the capital of Calvert is a gigantic city. Look at that thing. Believe it or not, I've never actually visited this district before. It's a pretty chill spot. Very much hustle and bustle. And that makes it a perfect hangout for more disreputable characters. I'm included in that category, by the way. And I assume the man we're meeting is as well. Yeah, that guy's nothing if not cautious. Oh, hey, cat! Did I wake you up when I checked on you? Hmm, did I wake you up when I checked on you? Who's a good girl? Hello, kitty kitty. Hello, cat. My feline co-host has joined the stream by my foot just looking for a pet. You want to go hang out in your nest and just hang out with me? Mm -hmm. Or do you want something? Okay. For a pet? Oh, around this time on Wednesdays, he likes to go out and grab something from one of the stalls. Hello. I love you. No sign of him yet. But he'll come out to play sooner or later. Let's just wander around until he shows his ugly mug. Sounds like a plan. Oh, right. He's an acquaintance of yours, correct? If he's supplying us with information, I'm guessing he'll want something in return. Probably. Oh, and I forgot to mention something. Hey, Cat, I can't reach you when you lay down. Okay, well, I love you, Cat. That guy might know his stuff, and it's possible it'll lend us a hand, but don't forget that he's a real piece of shit. <laughs> the man knows no loyalties. Give him a bag of Mira, and that rat bastard will sell anyone out. Doesn't matter if they're friend, foe, or even family. All right, well, good to know. I recommend letting me do most of the talking. No matter what, don't give him anything he could use against you. Duly noted. Yeah, spells that either freeze enemies uh, and give you action economy, those could be very disproportionate in any kind of game. It's true. Uh, all right. Expanding the minimap. Let's expand the minimap. Well, I did that accidentally. This feature will let you see specific locations. Well, we did that by accident the first time. So we got a couple of things. All right, so we got to wait for the informant, which means it looks like we just have to see these four point, points of interest. Well, let's go take a look at what the shop is. Oh, good stuff right here. Take as long as you need. Shrimp and bean taco. Ooh, all right. That's actually not a bad idea. Okay, so cure seal. If I remember correctly, though, seal will go away on its own. So I don't think we have to do that. But a damage up that is pretty nice. Let's go with one of those just to see how it goes. I don't think we need that necessarily. You know, we'll get one more. Because that could be good for a boss. I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, anything that increases your damage or gives you a nice buff, it's usually worth going for. Man, the frame rates on this are really smooth. 
I'm uh, kind of impressed so far. I'm finally at Riverside. I heard all the good eateries are down by the water. The atmosphere is living up to my expectations, but we've yet to see the food if the food will. Only one way to find out. Look out, stomach! Here it comes! <laughs> Alright, so let's cruise over here. Game's running buttery, buttery, buttery smooth here. Let's see what kind of event we have over here. It likes hanging out in the terrace. Let's find a spot where we can scope things out. Whoops. Likes hanging out in the terrace down below. Let's find a spot where we can scope things out. All right. So I guess we gotta go this way. I guess we'll go see whatever that. See whatever that is. Ermati. Looks like it's closed right now. Yeah, night times when the mirror really rolls in. We can come back another time. Explore the rest of this, get our bearings. Hey, look at that. Person we could chat with. Cycling is so convenient once you get used to the physical strain of it. Shopping's a breeze, you don't have to spend on transportation. I can't believe it's already been a year since I started biking regularly. Where's the time gone? My bike's made errands and commu commuting a breeze. Yeah, well, this guy lives in Zamuria, not fucking Florida. I, for, for the friends in chat, and possibly California, depending on where in California ghost he is. California is a very big fucking state, but if it's South Cali, uh, he, he'll he'll be able to, to relate to this too. Having a bike as your primary mode of transportation, not just like exercise or leisure, is not a fucking option. <laughs> you will sweat half your body weight in sweat by the time you get to your destination if it's more than five minutes away. It's bonkers. You didn't even stick around to see if we'd get into Summerfest. A show like that in front of Treon Tower would have been huge for us. We were so excited about it. Are we not good enough? Is that why you left? Wow, she's beautiful. Is she involved with Summerfest? I probably shouldn't bother her. Nice. We got a hit. A hit? Oh, you mean that man. Is he the one we're looking for? Yeah. Sure is. Let's go see what we can get out of him. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about Cali drivers, but in uh, in the, our South Florida drivers, you get a combination of people that drive like, you know, New York, and they're just absolute freaking maniacs. Hi. <laughs> uh, sorry, Seraph getting way too distracted by the vendor there. Um, uh, but yeah, then you get... The, shall we say, older population. Oh, there you are. That doesn't, you know, can't see, blah, blah, blah. Plus people that are on their phones, not paying attention. You're taking your life in your hands if you're on a bike and on a road down here in South Florida. It's so freaking dangerous. Mm, they haven't caught on to me yet. Don't think. If I can pull this off... I'm gonna be so rich. What do you... What do you want meaning for? Life is desire, not meaning. <laughs> That's an interesting sticker on his shirt. What's going on, Giacomo? The hell do you want, Arkwright? Okay. Anytime you want me, it leads me to nothing but trouble. I mean, this guy does look like the unsavory sort. Hi, cat. Are you having fun chewing your box? Yeah. Are you having fun chewing your box? She's chewing a piece of cardboard from my speakers that I picked up. Hi, honey. Are you being good girl? Some way to greet an old friend. And here I thought our last job together ended up pretty well for both You're of us. kidding me. I would have made bank from that old hag if you hadn't gotten my way. We're supposed to be in the same business here. 
I got my job and you got yours. Besides, you got what was coming to you because you got greedy. Anyway, why not let bygones be bygones so we can talk us some business? Oh yeah? Wait, who's the pretty thing with you? You hanging out with school kids now? My name is Agnes Claudel. It's nice to meet you, sir. Don't worry about it. She's a client. Wanted me to help her look for something. That's so. Huh. It's an orbment that was stolen from an antique shop a week ago. It sounds like it was stolen right when it got to them, too. So, I didn't tell the cops about it. Judging by how the robbery went down, my guess is it's the work of some local gang. The whole thing feels like your wheelhouse, yeah? Sure does. Normally I'd jump at a job like this, but I'm coming up empty on clues. I got my hands full with another job at the moment, though if I looked into it, I'm sure I could find something. You really think so? Yeah. What can I say, young lady? I'm good at what I do. So what's the deal with it? You look like you're really, uh, an upstanding type. What's this ornament got to do with you? It's a memento of my great-grandfather. I'm not at liberty to discuss how it left our possession. Or much else about it, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Yeah, real sweet, do you care, care about him that much? Alright now, here's an idea. How about you leave the whole thing to me? I'll be... I bet I'll be a lot more help with this kind of thing than Arkwright ever will. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, I appreciate the offer, but I'd like to trust him with this. I also need him to confirm the veracity of any information gathered as well. <laughs> That's what Aramis brain right here. One look at the uniform will tell you she's smarter than your average kid. Anyway, if you do catch wind of anything, give me a call. You'll get your cut for it. <laughs> well, see you around, girly. If you ever change your mind, you know where to find me. Ace of Van was right. He was a piece of shit. Sorry, did I talk a little too much? I'd give you about a 7 out of 10. Average? You did give him your name and some bare minimum info. Made it look like you were an easy target. But when it came down to it, you backed me up and knew where to draw the line. I'm guessing you were pretty aware of what you were doing, huh? Well, I... I do have an idea of how to conduct myself in situations like these, yes. I just don't know if there's much hope he'll contact us with that attitude, with his attitude by the end. Ah. Well, good luck. I hope... I hope uh, you get some better luck with it, because, yeah, it's not fun when you're playing a game that's stuttering. Hi, cat. Why are you biting my foot? Oh, my God. Why are you biting me? Hi. I was petting you earlier. Hello, cat. I love you, cat. If I pet you, will you stop biting me? <laughs> She's such a little shit. <laughs> what? What? You were just chewing the ever-living shit out of that box. You, you were fed earlier. And I did. I fed her dinner right at uh right as i started stream so she she's had her food she's got water what do you want honey what do you want okay doesn't matter if we don't hear a peep this ain't hanging on him all we got to do is wait for him to slip up then pounce story about an antique shop getting an old memento stolen by a gang couldn't have baited him with a better prospect of a payday he couldn't even hide he was interested so why'd he uh so why'd he never bother to follow up with any questions? Never so much as asked for a copy of the photo. That just seals the deal in my book. Oh. So you think- Ow! Cleo? Hi. That hurts. You can't bite me that hard. Honey, my foot is not a toy. My legs are not toys. You have toys. Here, you want your string? You want your string, baby girl? Here, you want your string? You want to play? Hmm? You want to play? No. No, you don't want to play. You want to bite my foot for some reason. Why do you want to bite my foot? Why are you biting me? Hmm? <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm playing the what does my cat want game. What do you want, cat? Uh, so you think he's already involved in some way? Perhaps even directly? He's laid eyes on the thing at the very least. So we're going after him. Right now? But how are we going to find him? All we know is that he went that way. I told you, he likes to rotate his spots, right? One of his hideouts just so happens to be in this district. 
It's far enough from here. He won't think he'll be followed either. So come on. Coming. Okay, press to open the notebook. And I don't think I have that button, so I'm gonna have to figure out which of these buttons is that button. The terrace is just up ahead. So is it this button? Maybe? Take it slow. You're gonna stick out like a oh, sore thumb right otherwise. Here. Uh I don't know what these other buttons are. Maybe it's that. I don't know. Looks like he went behind the stairs. Damn, good eye. Nothing else to do here, right? We've gone everywhere? Okay, yeah, we have. Is this the place? It doesn't lead in any ordinary building, I'm assuming. Yep, subway company's in charge of this door and everything beyond. <laughs> But the lock got switched. So now you don't even need a key to get in if you know the trick to it. Oh, no shit. Doesn't that mean we'll be trespassing? Eh, it's not illegal. But I'm not going to say the authorities will be quick to agree on that point. Do you want to turn back? No, I'm going with you. So, Victor literally told us he'll have our head on a platter if we took her anywhere dangerous or seedy. And here we go. <laughs> Good on you, then. Watch your footing. <laughs> Let's do it. To the underground maintenance tunnel? Yep. Let's do it. This is probably going to be our first dungeon. Underground maintenance tunnel, huh? I had no idea this is what it looked like under the city. It feels almost surreal to be here. I don't think most people have any reason to come, so yeah. Looks like I'm going to have to take back what I said, though. Go hang around the stalls outside or something while I take care of things in here. Why? Yep. <laughs> it's dangerous. There's why. You can find monsters even in the city. Just gotta look under it. Though last I heard, the guild would periodically come and do some spring cleaning. Just saying. This is no place for a student. Leave this part to me. Don't say that. I knew this job wasn't going to be without danger from the start. So I came... Play with the string, not my foot. This job wasn't going to be without danger from the start, so I came prepared for it. So please, won't you take me with you? I won't get in your way, I promise. Huh? You do know we're going on a... You do know we're not going on a picnic, right? I know you got a Zifa, but you're going to need more than that in a fight. I didn't come with just a combat ornament. I have this too. Whoa. It's the orbal staff I chose to learn for self-defense lessons to the academy. Okay, so Agnes is going to also be our mage. Um, at least most cases, uh, characters with an orbal staff, it ends up being something that helps boost their arts. So, magic. I have experience fighting mock battles with it and using healing arts. I really do think I could do more good than harm. Hmm. Fine. We're short on time, so let's get moving. But if I think you are leaning on harm, you agree to get out of here. We clear? It's my job to make sure my client's safe. I don't skimp on quality. I understand. Thank you. All right. So let's. The environment here looks really beautiful. All right. If you're ready, let's get to it. Just to make sure you know what shards are. Yes, I do. They're a field deployed by Zephas. I've used them before, but only in mock battles. And even then, it was just for defensive purposes. That's a fine start. Shards could be used for more than just that. They could be linked and used offensively, among other things. You gotta deploy them uh, to do any of that, of course. When you do, stay on your toes, because it's a fight in time. Gonna ask again, you ready? As I'll ever be. Let's do this. Deploying shards! So shards, they're new in this game. I'm not really familiar with what he's talking about here, or at least it's been so long. Maybe it's something they introduced and I just don't remember. Beginning engagement. Brace yourself. All right, command battle. Battle progresses in turns, good. And a character can act once their portrait reaches the center of the bar. AT bonus. Gain a boon. 
for the next acting character to start. Okay, so yep, same, all that. Hold left trigger to view the turn order. Perfect. All right. When your turn comes up in the field better, use, uh, move around freely. Move freely within the blue circle. A for a normal attack. Change targets and attack. All right, so we'll, we'll, I think we'll be able to figure this out. I guess we'll just do this. It's not gonna let. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna have to come up here and attack. That's fine. A chance. All right. So defend. Use to switch command for A from attack to defend. Okay. All right. So if I need to defend, that'll be how I do it. So it's that. All right. Your waiting period is also shorter. Yep. All right. That's fine. They're gonna make me do that. Okay. We'll just have you defend. That's okay. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna be going all in. You know what? I'll just come up here that way. If they do attack, well, now stay. All right, so we'll just defend. Good. So they couldn't attack both of us. Right, she's gonna go. Oh, actually, he'll go, and then she'll go. All right. Now can I do something different? Still can't do arts, huh? Still not gonna let me do arts. Fine. Ah. Crafts. Okay, now you're gonna let me use crafts. Fine. So let's do that. Uh, this will hurt. There we go. All right. So one of the nice things this game does the same thing, where you're positioning, and it'll show you what it's gonna hit here. And so yeah, we're gonna do stun slash, and we're gonna hit all three of these fuckers. Take that. All right. I just oh, I killed all three of them in one shot. Nice. All right, cool. He's level five, she's level three, and I gained some Sepeth. That'll do. You only did yourself pretty well for your first fight. You flatter me, but I only did so well because you were covering me. Hope you don't mind me asking, but I noticed you use a rather odd support AI, or hollow, I think is the correct term. Yeah, you're using AIM. That's a pretty generic one. I'm using a custom personalized hollow. It's pretty special, I'd say. Her model is MK ESV04. Name's Mare. I got an acquaintance to send me a test version. Her performance is way better than the generic models. It's the only reason I put up with her big mouth. I think she's just fine, actually. The Zifa in general are really convenient to have. Yep, sixth generation battle ornaments made a real improvement on the last gen. The AI and shards are real lifesavers. I'll teach you more about shards along the way. Right now, let's keep moving. Yes, let's. All right, so the combat system is very similar to previous games. Information on orbits has been added to the help section of the notebook. Okay. Over. Processing data. Ah, okay. She's literally like an artificial assistant here. That's going to be probably our charging station. Yep. Yes, we'll recover Ooh, HP. That hits the spot. Perfect. So... I go here and save. Sweet. Yeah, we'll save over that. So these are cool when we find these in dungeons because we could just like essentially farm and then we go over here and it's going to heal our hit points and our uh, EP. So anyway, let's, uh, let's go over here. Edith, books, help. Oh, okay, good. So we can go to Cole's Field. Man battle. All right, good. So we can go over this. Then crafts. Goals menu. Ordnance. So yeah, here are here are ordnance, right? So Zifa is uh, you know basically the flip phone that we talked about. By installing a support AI hollow into a Zifa, it can expand a unique force field made up of shards. So uh, hollow is, is an AI installed into a Zifa that provides audio guidance in a variety of different situations. So Navi, but less annoying. Uh, and then the quartz, which circuits made from Sepeth, you know, we could plug them into combat orbits and we can add, essentially, uh, we can add abilities, whether it's, you know, healing quartz or offensive quartz, things like that. It'll, it'll get, that'll start making sense as we go in. And as I figure out what the hell is different about this game than previous games, because I'm sure, uh, like I said, I know they, uh, that Falcom did almost like combat reset with this game. So it'll be interesting to see how this one works. Right. This is the same type of monsters we saw earlier. 
won't even need to deploy our shards to clean up small fry like this. Let's move in and clobber him. Right. Field attack. Press A to attack. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm not thrilled with this. Yeah, that's why I'm not thrilled with that. Detailed results. All right. I'm going to have to figure that out. All right, so they do sort of like a combination of things where you could just do that shit or, um, or stick to turn-based. Got through that safely. You did well in there, even without shards. You're pretty handy with that orbital staff. Oh, thank you. I like being able to put a bit of distance between me and other enemies. Helps me remain calm when I'm dispatching them. Sounds like a solid strat. I'll cover the front so you can focus on support from the back. Will do. By the way, Van, I've never seen a weapon like that before. It's shaped like a sword, but it doesn't actually have an edge, does it? It's a stun caliber. Interesting. Just like Mar, it's more a unique weapon than I got through my connections. And it does have an edge, actually. Using it takes a little trick, but that's not what I want to focus on right now. Every battle is kind of like a puzzle of their own. You need to weigh whether to end it without deploying shards, or if you're going to go all in. You need to figure out how to take it, uh, take them each at a time, and the answer is not always going to be the same. Keep that in mind as we go along, yeah? Yes, I'll try. Alright. Switch to combat battle. Press X to deploy shards. You can switch to command battle at any time. Good, okay. So, all right, so they basically give you the choice of doing this free fall, this free form combat, or if, uh... You picked the wrong guy to fight. Of course, I keep getting hit doing that method. That's not great. Yeah. Damn. Enemy suppressed. Nice work. Yeah, I'd rather do turn based. I thought it said that if you hit B it'll do that, but it didn't. So that's not great. I do prefer turn based combat. Overwhelmingly. To uh a lot of the JRPG trends of just doing this like free form action combat. Like, motherfucker, if I want to action combat, I'll play an action game. If I'm playing a JRPG, give me the turn based tactical, you know, give give me the strat give me the strategic option. None of this shit. Yeah. Let's see. I'm just gonna heal. Whew. That hits the spot. Man battle. Deploy shards. I hit X and it just. Oh, X. Right. Hit that button. I was hitting B, not X. Would help if I actually hit the correct button, huh? So we'll try that and stay in uh, turn based combat. Because that's my overwhelming preference. At least they give you the choice. I'll take you on. Perfect. During command battle, shard skills are activated based on activation percent displayed. What does that mean? Customize your Z for to activate all kinds of skills. Flare impact and shroud your weapon with elemental shards to add fire damage to attacks. Not quite sure what that means yet, but we'll get there. All right. But in the meantime, keep it up. It's working. Yeah, let's see what this does. Over here. All for you. A chance. All right. Escaping command battles. Hold B to release shards. Oh, okay. Shift to a field battle. If the uh, feature is unlocked after multiple turns, if the battle begins with enemy disadvantage, not possible during certain fights or boss battles. All right, fair enough.
Mm. Going all Heal. In. Let's fight you. Thought I was Bring going, but I was wrong. Fair enough. Still got hit once. That sucks. Hmm. Hit the wrong button again. Alright, well, when dealing with like really underleveled. Hey, okay, you guys definitely want to do that. Alright. So this will hurt. Yes, it will. We're gonna do the stun slash here. It's working. It's Take that. We're gonna kill two of you outright, bastard. I'll take you on. You're okay. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna hit you. And one more, but it's gonna get a chance to go. Dick. A chance. Yeah. We got a critical hit anyway. Looks like a chest. So it looks like we still get a lot of these um, various other um, turn. Uh, I don't wanna call them. We'll call them turn bonuses. Yeah. So you might have. We'll take tier A bomb. Okay. Uh, which way am I going? We just went from there. We're okay. We're just going to continue. Um, I'm going to do another turn-based battle because uh, I want to explain something that I did notice is still present in this game. Uh, we got a couple of new guys here. Oh, great. Dromes. I hate those things. Yeah, we have to use magic against those. Most weapons will more or less bounce off their jelly-like bodies. Yep. But that won't be a problem for my orbital staff. Smart girl. That's a good idea. As a rule of thumb, enemies resistant to physical attacks are usually pretty weak to orbital arts. You probably already know this, but your orbital staff basically works uh, just like orbital arts, sans the cast time. I'll be using orbital arts for these guys, but you could pick between them and your staff, whatever's more convenient for you. All right. Arts work best on this enemy. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Okay, the only problem with arts is they usually have a casting time. Uh, so that part is gonna suck, but oh well. Yeah, if we're gonna do that, we may as well. All right, we'll go over here. So I'm already noticing that one has some good range. So I have a target, so I can move here, but I could also move the area of effect. So I'm just gonna move the area of effect to hit each of these three assholes. And let's try this. So let's see what I can do with this. So now this is going to be interesting. So let's see what it means by going all in. Whoops. That's not what I want to do. So the orbital staff doesn't count as a physical attack. The orbital staff counts as this shit. Here goes. All right. Um. Same thing. We're just going to do. Attack their weakness with an art. Activate. Wait, what did I just do? Here goes. Some parts. Pull out all the stops. Hit all three? Yes, I can. I can hit all three with that. I don't know if I want to spend 90 on that. But let's find out what it does. So I'm hitting that one. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Good luck. Mm. Attack their 
This will hurt. Yeah, we'll do that. I've got the CP for it. Let's do this. The nice part about this is they're instant. Now, I'm not seeing anything up there, but... So this is going to go off. Perfect. Kills that fucker. We're okay health-wise. Let's go into arts, though. Oops. Well, arts. Cannon. Could just target that with the hydro cannon and call it a day. Skull hammer. Let's hit it with this hydro cannon and just see how it goes. Initializing drive. Yeah, I can't get to you. Attack their weakness with an arc. Good luck. Of course, I keep hitting the wrong button because the button's wrong. Yeah, we'll do wind spark edge. Is that arts gonna go off? So that's the issue with arts: is you tell the art to go. And you have to wait while you're casting, and then it goes off. Which, that part sucks. Doesn't look like I cancel these anymore. So that's not great. Uh, will I still go before it goes? Doesn't seem like it's really going to matter much, does it? So let's do Hydro Cannon again. Activating drive. Certain arts will work better. Don't take your eye off the enemy. Attack their weakness with an arc. Yeah, we got impede here. Let's see if we can delay it. There. Good. I, in I ended up uh, interrupting it. It's perfect. Good. 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 Yeah, that impede keyword, that is incredibly helpful when you have an ability that has impede built into it. That's all she wrote. Good job, Van. She's holding up a lot better than I thought. I have expect her to give up by now, or at least want to take a break. Does something matter? Nah, don't mind me. Your orbital staff's pretty convenient when dealing with these guys. That and your orbital arts are a pretty neat asset. It's nice having you watch my six. So if we were really low on EP, um... We could abuse her orbital staff to just beat the shit out of those things. Just make sure you stay behind me. Leave the front lines to me. And, uh, I will. Thank you. Or you can use either items or arts to recover your lost HP. Uh, or we could open the orbit menu. Okay. Our leader attack while in a precarious position. The command battle begins with the enemy at an advantage. Ah. Interesting. All right. Well, we'll keep that in mind. Yeah, I would like to heal. The question is, do I just go back and heal really fast? It's straight to us there. Yeah, let's just go back and heal really fast. Did I dash? No, I can't dash. Would have been convenient if I could have dashed. Considering it's just back this way. Why use healing items when I could just go over here and restore everything? Ah, certain monsters respawn, though. That's fine. We're just going to beat the shit out of these guys. Yeah. I don't even care. Ah, oh, fuck. All right, well, that was a good example of that. Oh, well, that'll, that'll teach me to be overconfident. <laughs> So far, so good. I'm figuring this out. That hits the spot. Okay. Now that we've figured that out, let's cruise over this way. Plus, we might get some XP if uh, monsters respawn.
Oh, okay, that's how I run. Sweet. Even better. Doing that again. Huh. Thought I could change my party leader. Maybe not. Let's, uh... Keep it up. It's working. Oh my god, it has Death us. Blow? So there's a chance if I cast Shadow Spear, I could kill one of these things outright. Granted, that's really expensive. Ah, okay. So now I can be a little further away, and I can target both of these things. Yeah, we'll go with Aerial Dust. That's fine. Cypher activate. Right, same thing we're gonna do as far away as I Certain can be. Certain arts will be more effective. Going all in. Drive. Ow. Fine, do that first. So the purpose of doing mute is those uh, things like to cast a lot, and if I mute Here and it go. lands, which it didn't, fucker. That sucks that it didn't land. Um, Don't take your eye off the enemy. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just do Spark Edge. We'll do that right back. I did more damage to you, shithead. Um, damn, I can't reach you to finish you off. That would have been nice. But oh, it's fine. Gotta start doing that a little more. That will probably finish off. So I'm still trying to figure out the combat thing at the very top. So at the very top... Um, that way. <laughs> um, so at the very top here, uh, we've got we're gonna have Van Gogh and uh, Pull out all the stops. essentially I'm gonna delay while I'm casting. I will still get to go before it goes, so I'm okay with casting Hydro Cannon here. Drive. Oh no, it does get to go first. Oh, Shit. For that. Bastard. Yeah, I'm just gonna attack you. Yeah. <laughs> You missed. That finishes you off. Uh, yeah, we'll just attack. Yeah. Here goes. That should finish you off. Perfect. Well right. then, away we go. We got a little nicked up, but nothing Looks too like bad. Zest. Titanium earring, huh? Prevents rot. I don't even know what rot is, but I'm glad it prevents it. Corrosion resistant properties, huh? All right. Well, that being the case, let's, uh... Okay, so orbments are here. So I can use healing arts. Right, so this is how I configure this. Here's our arts list. Skill list. Oh, there's a... How did I do that? Okay. So he has a shard skill shield to resist rot. That's actually pretty interesting. And resisting KO with one HP is pretty nice. It's a reducing damage when an ally is attacked. That's probably good to know. Okay, and we also have chrono boost. Chance of additional damage when using time attack arts. Good to know. All right, so flare impact. Chance of adding fire damage to attacks. Okay, so I think these are things that are always in effect. Okay. 
thinking I have to go to a store to change these. Modifying your ordinance, are you? Oh, oh, maybe I can do it now. Okay, so this is equipped. I have EP cut. Okay, so... Alright. Sorry, I'm trying to figure this shit out. And I'm not necessarily figuring out what all this is at the moment. This is a little, uh... Thing here. Hmm. Okay, so I don't have any skills in here. Why can't I change that like I can over here? No, I can't change that over here. Why was I able to... Okay, how did I do that? Okay, so I have to be in the quartz menu. Switching to maintenance mode. So in her case, I could switch it. Okay, defense. Okay, defense one. Okay, she's got. Ah, okay. So all of these are currently in use. I'd have to get more of these in order to actually make it work. Okay, so she's got EP cut equipped. Okay, that's fine. Well, one of these buttons, if I could figure it out, how I would auto-equip these. In my experience with previous games, the auto-equip isn't really the best. But, I mean, if you were going really fast, it would work. But, uh, and then change hollow core, huh? Interesting. Alright, so this is aim. So I guess we can change out the core interesting change playable voices oh well, that's pretty neat or we could turn the color core voice off that's kind of neat all right okay so but there's nothing i could really do in there at the moment um all right i'm not gonna bother healing but we will go over here and we'll smashy smashy we got some mirage sepith No, they don't know I can do that. I can't believe there were monsters right beneath my feet. I had no idea. Got the bracers to thank for that. They're usually good at keeping them contained. That. Do I go in action mode in this? I think so. I'll take you on. Because I would rather. This will hurt. We've got a ton of CP, and I'd rather just use it this way. Let's see. All right, so she's got an HP boost, so she's gonna gain HP just because we're in turn mode, and at her turn she's gonna gain some health. So boy, am I glad we did this. I might kill a couple of these guys outright. She just gained 52 hit points. That is oh so lovely. Certain um, arts will be more effective. Yeah, I think Going so. Hydro cannon, it's not gonna like. I don't think Certain I'm gonna waste. Will be more effective. I don't think I'm gonna waste the icicle hammer. <laughs> ha! Here goes. Okay, that. All right, you little bastard. Oh, she's also going to recover some EP next turn. Cool. A chance. Certain arts will be more effective. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. We'll just do the Hydro Cannon again. We'll spam the Hydro Cannon. A chance. And you're stunned. It's over. So the question is, do I defend so that she gets some EP and then I get some HP? 
Although I'm already at full HP and her AP is pretty good. Let's just kill this guy. Let's keep moving ahead. But I'm already starting to get a much better handle of the combat system. Which is oh so excellent. I got that? Giacomo here. Boom! Well, he's leaving footprints. Do you think these are Giacomo's footprints? Yeah, fresh as a few minutes ago, I'd wager. Which doesn't make sense. No. No, it doesn't. Well, all the monsters we've encountered along the way, he must have encountered some too. Yeah, I didn't hear any gunshots either, so we have slipped past them all unnoticed. There's only one way you could have done that. What's that? Don't worry about it. Just something I learned about in the past. Anyway, we're almost at his hideout. Stay on guard. Will do. I don't think these get smashed. Nope. Yeah, for the most part, it highlights things that are smashable. That's nice. Wish I knew what buttons on my controller were those buttons. <laughs> oh, we got five, huh? Well, more of these guys around than I expected. So what's the plan? Should we pick off their numbers one by one? Nah, that'd take too much time. I'll cut a path through, so stick close to me. Uh, I'm guessing this is where we're going to use our S-Craft. Charge attack. Press right trigger for a charge attack. Activate when the action gauge is at max. This deals heavy stun damage. Last second dodges will also feel the gauge. Okay. Looks hmm. like the gang's all well. here. Uh. What's going on here? It just told me to hold down the right trigger. But it's not doing it. I'm holding down the button. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? I hate tutorial levels like this that don't fucking... Am I supposed to be in this? Like... This is this aggravates me. Okay, now do I get to it? Okay, never mind. Shard attack. Press X to deploy shards while enemies stun to activate a shard strike. Okay, fine. Gotcha. All right. Uh, okay, so that's how that works. Stunned enemies can't move for a set period of time. Okay. That's the only problem when you're dealing with a non-standard controller where the buttons aren't exactly... Sometimes you second guess, like, wait, am I hitting the right button? Am I not hitting the right button? Attack their weakness with an arc. Got a whole slew of them. Oh god. Stop. No. Ugh. It's so fast. No. How do I turn off the high speed mode? God damn it. What button turns off high speed mode? This is annoying. How do I turn off high speed mode? Oh my god. Yeah, shut up while I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, that does that. No. Does this button do it? Does this button do it? No. Although I just did something. Fuck. Ugh. I hate this so much. I can't... I have shit control while it's... Oh my god, what did I do? Aww. No. Okay. Hopefully it's done with that. Ugh. This is so aggravating. No. No high speed mode. Shut the fuck up. Why can't I turn off high speed mode? 
No, I don't want to do that. Just, just attack at this point. Oh my god, this is terrible. Certain arts will work better. Don't take your eye off the enemy. I hate this fucking shit so much. Attack. Activating drive. I'm gonna have to wait till after combat, I think, to turn off high speed mode. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I just want, I just want to exit combat so I can turn off this high speed mode bullshit. I hate it. So far, I'm thinking, man, this thing is so annoying. And because it's high speed, they're like spamming the no reminders, which is really annoying. I don't know who thought of this. Shut up. Oh my God. No. Okay, now how do I exit high speed mode? Ugh. Damn it. This high speed mode thing is still on. No. How do I turn it off? Mm. Uh, this thing's good shit, but it wears you out like nothing else. Real big upgrade between the fourth and fifth gen orbments right here. I can see why the army liked it so much. Was worth extorting it out of that corrupt general a while back. Of course, the, it's comical how the dial, like his mouth, is moving a hundred miles an hour. Hmm. But what am I gonna do now? No one's gonna find the goods now that I've got them well hidden. Now I gotta settle between selling it to A for a fat stack, or taking it to some lab or a tech corp. That girl with Ark Ride seemed to know what it was worth too. <laughs> Wouldn't mind having her work under me if it meant getting him out of the way. I might be able to tap more than extra Mira out of that. Getting a little ahead of yourself, aren't we? Huh? Shame you talk to yourself, Giacomo. W what are you doing here? This is so aggravating. There's really no way to turn off high speed mode at this point? So you came here after all. Not a bad hustle you got going on. You learn what those punks were up to, tipped off the cops, then snatched the case in the confusion so you could profit from the shadows. Wait, I hear you. I, yeah. I screwed up. Fast forwarding, sir. We're ludicrous speed. Never, never play that again. All right, no, this is driving me crazy. We're, we're gonna go. Okay, trails. Daybreak. High speed mode. How do I toggle this fucking shit off? This is so annoying. I shouldn't have to fucking Google this. I'm going to press in the left side of the touchpad. Well, I don't have a touchpad, so... I don't even know why they give you this shit. <sighs> this shit's aggravating. I'm sorry, chat. Give me just two seconds to turn this fucking thing off. I had to hold down the button. What button? <laughs> oh my god. So annoying. Okay, we're talking about a completely different game here. Awesome. Awesome. And of course, Google doesn't really help. Google search has been so much worse than it was like 10 years ago. God forbid Google actually give you a search that you actually search for. Instead, they're just going to give you page upon page to sell me shit instead of telling me what I'm actually looking for. That's super frustrating. I'm on the third page. And I can't imagine that I'm the only person that's looked for trails from daybreak, high speed mode toggle, you know, like the fuck.
It gives me the Steam store page. Thank you for telling me it has that function. What is the button that actually makes it turn off? Am I gonna have to go through this entire thing to go back to the help menu to find it? Yeah, I am. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you, thank you, internet. You guys suck so much. <sighs> yeah, I can't get to the menu though. I'm in, I'm in this. I'll give you back what I stole. And Mira. And I obviously and didn't go to the menu to turn it on. I, I'd never even think of picking a fight with all. Too late. You so there's obviously a button outside of the menu that, that does it. Will pay with fear. It's just <laughs> stupid. Huh? What was that? Giacomo, come on. But okay. Whatever. Shit might be hitting the fan soon. Yeah. Maybe now we can go into the fucking menu and change it. <sighs> high speed mode, high speed mode. Here's the difficulty of final battles. Dash mode. Dash mode resets when character stops. Okay. Awesome. Nope, there's no menu option for it. At least down in there. Okay, there we go. Fuck. High speed mode. Hold the configure button to hide. Press the configured button. Awesome. What's the configured button? What's the fucking configured button, motherfucker? You're such assholes with that. So you should be able to go here. Instead of hold or toggle, there should be an option in here to turn this fucking thing off. It fell from the fan, right? So if any developer for any game, not just a Falcom, but any game, if you have a fucking high speed mode, you must give us the option to turn that fucking shit off. Because there are times where we might be looking for a button, especially when we're learning how to play a game, and we turn something that's completely fucked up like this on, and now we don't know how to turn it off because you don't give us the fucking option. You just change how it works. I'm hoping that if I go over here to input, it gives me the, uh, no, configure bindings. All right, so if I, okay, this is the mouse keyboard. It's controller, okay, controller, good. Maybe if I go in here. All right, so. Granted, I've got a Gula Kit controller, so high speed mode. Okay, left, left stick. Oh, okay, so it might be left stick. Let me, let me press that. Maybe I accidentally hit that while I was trying to figure out shit. So let's exit this. What do you mean? Wait, how did high speed mode turn off? I didn't turn it off yet. You motherfuckers. Well, let's see. All right, that is how it turns. Okay, so it's that button. <sighs> Whatever. All right, so I gotta be careful not to hit that button. I'll take you on. I like to turn based much better. Much better. Um. Yeah, let's just wipe these two out. Aw, oh, I thought I'd kill them all. I thought I'd kill them one shot. I blew it. I blew it. <laughs> Actually, it's a good call, Dark Star. Just swip it. Yeah, because then... Much less likely that I would accidentally hit it. True. You picked the wrong guy to fight. Deploying shots. There. So let's uh. Maybe we can do spark edge to you. Uh, I thought I'll it was. You on. First. No. One. Two. Parts. Pull out all the stops. Yeah. Fuck it. Let's hit both of you. Initializing drive. You two can folk fuck yourselves. Ha! Let's see how this goes. Here goes. Yeah, I'm running a little low on uh, hit points here. Let's just try to attack. Try and kill you. You should hit her. Hit you with icicle hammer. Take much more. 
My move now. Yeah, let's just try and fuck you up. Cause this is bad. I need to kill this guy before he. Yeah, oh, shit. Good. Did I freeze him? Yes, I did. That should kill him. Perfect. Good now I need to heal. New craft. Ah, Agnes learned glow hammer. Sweet. Okay. No enemies found. What's going on here? Uh, thought I could do that. Okay, fine. Let's uh. Let's just heal. And you leveled up, so we're good. Perfect. That was effective. Let's smashy smashy. And yeah, while I'm thinking of it, I am going to take Darkstar's suggestion. We're going to go in there. We're going to change that fucking... I don't see right, right switch for anything, do I? Nope. Perfect. <clears throat> Much better. Okay. Much better. And we're gonna save. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Annoying shit done. <laughs> That is a good idea. Ah, perfect. See, I'm glad I didn't use an item. That we can rest there. Come on. Thank you. That hits the spot. Yeah, it's the only issue with playing games on Steam and not like a PlayStation when you're using a um, kind of a non-standard controller is sometimes you have to guess of what the button actually is. A little bit, yeah. I do feel a little bit better now. <laughs> no. Especially now that the game's running at normal speed. It wouldn't bother me if high speed mode just increased your movement, but it basically doubled the game engine's calculations, so everything ran comically fast. I guess it would work if um, if I died somewhere, and it's like, oh, now I gotta do all that again. You could toggle <laughs> high speed mode and catch back up to where you were. I think that's the only... I think that's the only time I would ever use a feature like that. Man. Save it. He's dead. I can't believe it. Now, is he really dead? Or is it like previous games? So, one of my criticisms with Trails of Cold Steel is they would kill off characters, but then like the death of Superman, they started bringing them all back. And when you do that, death doesn't fucking mean anything. So what I'm hoping is that felt because of how those without getting into spoiler territory to those games, what I'm hoping is that whole uh, death doesn't mean anything. I'm hoping that's over and that this game, my hope for, please let this be what's going on here. I'm hoping that Falcom's going, no, 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 we're killing off characters and it's for fucking real and it's going to matter this time. We're actually going to make sure there are stakes. I'm hoping this dude is like dead, stays dead and kind of hits home of like, no, 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 you better be prepared because in Trails from Daybreak, we are willing and able to kill off characters. <laughs> the fact that it's so he bloody tells this, me... But he couldn't stop his throat from being slit. It wasn't even the usual knife, more like a machete. And then his left hand is... Hmm. What are you two doing down here? I'm liking this direction so far. Oh. In Adios's name? Fuck. Well, that's bad timing for cops to oh. show up. Look at all that blood! <sighs> Shit. Uh, it would be the guy we were just about to ask to come in and talk to us. You look like you find yourself in the middle of a real mess here. I hope you're ready to come to the station. I mean, we don't have... Secured at 1.10 p.m. So any good cop would know we weren't involved. The dude had his throat slashed. So granted, video game logic and all that. But if I'm an inspector and I'm looking at that, I'm like, well, he, obviously neither of you two are involved because that dude is 
just dead. Like, still warm to the touch dead, and there's blood all over that dude. Whoever killed him is covered in blood, and neither of these two have blood on them. Two important witnesses will volunteer themselves into custody and accompany us to the Sidon station. We'll see if this guy is actually a professional and comes to that conclusion or not. I'm liking the, the sax there. Please, Miss Claudel, you could talk to me. What were you doing in a place like that? What did the man with you have to, have to <laughs> trick you into going? <laughs> Nothing. If anything, I was the one who persuaded him. What the request that uh, Mr. Arkwright accepted, though, I'm afraid I can't say anything more about. You are aware of this, ma'am? Causing trouble for your school, aren't you? I'm not sure how we could avoid contacting them now that you're involved in this. I understand. This all feels like a nightmare. I can't believe someone I was just talking two hours ago is now. And all my insisting has gotten Van caught up in this. Who do you think you're fooling, Arkwright? You think we'll believe it was just some coincidence that you were in the maintenance tunnel? That you were just taking that girl with you alone on some field trip? <laughs> Not a chance! What do you want me to say? It's the truth. You think I volunteered to come in here just to tell lies? Uh, I sure do. You may as well be a criminal yourself, Spriggan. No way in hell someone like you just happened to come across a murder scene. Stranger things have happened. Come on. You interrogate all your victims this way? You tense from overwork? How about I lend a hand? I got a handyman's license, even. Servants with a smile, and always willing to lend an ear. That's the Arkwright Solutions motto. Oh my god, dude. You son of a... I'm more curious why you happened to show up what you did. He was a real slyball, but he was also a nobody. Just what were you hoping to get out of him? What did they refer to you as witnesses and not suspects, so maybe? <laughs> okay, this guy sucks playing the bad cop here. <laughs> What was so important that it requires a bunch of officers and two investigators? I can see the rumors of how much a handful you are weren't overselling you. <laughs> Your weapon might not have a blade, but I've never seen anything like it. And you've got a state-of-the-art orbment, too. You've been skirting the line of legality dangerously close these past few years. You do know we could come down on you if we wanted to, right? Wow, that's harsh. It's just a self-defense baton. As for my Zifa, that's just for the Orbal Net. I've been authorized to have one as a tester, I'll have you know. Though, hey, even I know that authorization coming from a questionable foreign company ain't the best look. Look the words right out of my mouth. You really know how to throw people off. Inspector, I say we'll grill this guy good. It's clear he's a total good for nothing. You don't lead a pretty day astray without some kind of ulterior motive. Yeah, this guy does suck at playing the bad cop. Like him that young detective, huh? Just don't go too deep down that rabbit hole. You think I look bad? Just wait till the people if you're a cop got hooked on hitting up juveniles for favors. But you know, my address if I ever got a hot water over it. You think you could waltz in here and... Nate, don't let him rile you up. You're wasting your time with that one. And just who the hell are you? This room's off limits. I would be with the Central Intelligence Department, the group that asked for your help on this case. Central fucking intelligence is involved in this? The name's Kincaid. I'm with the CID's analytical division. On its behalf, I thank you for your aid in locating Giacomo Conte. And I see your line caught a second fish as well. Are you serious? We feel awful for losing him, really. But it's clear as day that this guy knows something. We'll have it out of him before long. Mark my... That nah, won't be necessary. He and his companion will be coming with us. Huh? On what, what grounds? Your own investigation has led us to safety... Uh, safely rule them out as culprits in Mr. Conte's murder. As such, for reasons I am not at liberty to discuss, they will be coming into our custody. I trust that won't be a problem. 
Not at all. Do what you want with them. Don't be such a damn sucker. Ugh. Should have known this is how it would be once they showed up. Very well. This was always the CID's request. Do as you will. But much as of a low-life piece of scum as he was, we're dealing with a man's death here. I'll thank you and you to remember that. All right, you know what? I'm, I'm digging Deswani right now. Of course I will. You needn't worry about that. Leave everything to us. I love the style of the outfits in this game. Man, oh thank goodness, they let you go too? Yeah, after this troublemaker showed up. I'll be taking my leave now, sir. Understood. You know what needs doing next, and be sure to send your report to the chief. She said she was with the Central Intelligence Department. Looks that way. Seems real competent, too. And you're able to bark out orders to her just like that, huh? <laughs> Shows you've moved up in the world, Renee. Huh? <laughs> Kincaid, not Renee. You know that. Though perhaps you need reminding after three years. <laughs> Hard to say if three years ago even counted as a proper hello. You're still on the ball as ever, you spectacled sadist. Same to you, Spriggan. Still working from the shadows and relying on old-fashioned stubbornness and trickery to get the job done, I see. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> um... The CID is currently hot on the trail of the duo who murdered Giacomo Conte. We found trace evidence of them at the scene. Oh! <sighs> Knew you wouldn't waste time. Then... I know your nose and circle of suspicious contacts are not to be underestimated. Thank you for the lurk. Enjoy your dinner. We'll see you when you get back. I appreciate the lurk as always. I won't be getting in the way of whatever you and your friend are working on. If you hear anything interesting, however, you'll give me a call. You owe it to me after bailing you out. Uh, yeah, we sort of do. <laughs> but they don't have each other's numbers. Information exchanged. Old friends, but no contact info. I don't believe I've heard that hollow before. By the way, have you told her you're back yet? <sighs> well, that answers that. <laughs> Will you ever grow up? Take care, then. You as well, young lady. Uh, thank you. Okay, interesting. So, you two are friends? Nah, he's just an old acquaintance I can't seem to shake. Although that acquaintance came in mighty handy. Anyway, much as I hate being in his debt over anything, this will be over way faster with him on the case. Both solving Giacomo's murder and your job. I see. If you want to call this whole thing off, I'm fine with that. Won't charge you anything if you do. Not after how much of a mess this has turned into. Leaving this all up to me also works if you trust me enough. That's not an issue, but now that someone's lost their life, I don't think I can afford to avert my eyes. It's not right. Can I... Can I not stay with you after at least uh, for at least today? It pains me to cause you more problems than I already have, but at the same time... Eh. You, you turn, you're too young to worry about causing others problems. All right, if you're that set on this, let's get back to work. Next up, we take the subway to Riverside. What? You aren't thinking of going back to the scene of the crime, are you? Nah, still gonna be sealed off anyway, so nowhere we're getting close to it. I've got somewhere else in mind. Let's get moving. I'd still like to get this wrapped up today. All right. Excuse me, can I have a moment of your time? You just came out of the police station, didn't you? Oh, this has annoying fucking reporter written all over it. I'm hearing there was just a murder. Was that why you were in there? Pardon me? Huh? And who are you? Yep. I'm Mario M.A., the newest reporter with the Tyro Times. I only just joined the paper's local news division and happened to hear what was going on from a source of mine. You wouldn't happen to have anything to add about the murder, would you? I'll take anything. Um, we... You got good instincts on you, Missy. The cops just took in a key witness, being questioned as we speak. Sounds like it's detective called, uh, Nate in charge. I'm thinking he'll have more for you if you run in now. Ed, you can't just- really? Thank you so much! 
Just you wait, Dingle. I'll get one over you this time. Wait, the Kiwinas is here are... Having a rough day? Yeah, nothing I'm not used to. I'm gonna go see Vermonti now. That should square us out after I lent a hand on that case with the spoiled brat. <laughs> sure. I'll get it done. That wasn't very nice of you, Van. You can't just feed someone in her position false information. Sure I can. Last thing we need when when we're busy is a reckless rookie sticking her nose into our shit. Why not let her make trouble for the cops to make our job easier? Hello, Cleo. Welcome back, honey. Oh, wait for me. Hi, Cleo. Hi, baby girl. Who's a good girl? Yeah, Van, you're not getting this done today. <laughs> Looks like they still have it cordoned off. What do you think will happen to Giacomo? They should have already had his body taken out for an autopsy a while ago. But you don't need to be an expert to see whoever slit his throat was a pro. So, where exactly are we going? The cafe and bar over there. The place that was closed conveniently enough earlier. Oh, is it open now? About to be. Today's hours should be from 5 to 2 a.m. Might be better to kill a little time before going in. He's probably still setting up for the evening. Oh, sure. Anything else to do? Ooh, there's a shop over there. Let's go see what this shop is. It's so calm here with all the hustle and bustle. Yeah, that's one thing I like about this area. <laughs> not all that matters is as much as public opinion. Without that, you may as well not even exist. But that's what they wanted, right? We've come so far. Why give up now, Natalie? I wonder what sad side quest that's going to be. What kind of shop is this? It's a car repair shop. Basically heaven on earth for guys like me. Right, this, oh, this, this is the biking guy. The crowd is so dense you couldn't get anywhere on that side of town. Hope their cycling race is just as exciting as that someday. Let's go in here. Not this way. Oh, okay. Fine. I can't go in that shop at the moment. Fine. Underground maintenance tunnel. That shop we've already been to. Okay, fine. That's a good run. That just allows us to run a little faster. Okay. Good. It does actually reset. Perfect. Alright, time to get ready to open up. We got two acts in the build tonight that I'm sure are going to fire up the audience. That said, looks like things are fired up enough outside. Did something happen? Life house, huh? A blue score. Interesting. I think it's just background detail. Go up to the bar. Looks like he's still getting ready to open. Should I go in anywhere or keep wandering around? The main story will advance upon entering the cafe. I don't think there's anything else we needed to do. So yeah, let's go inside. Well, hello again, handsome. I've been waiting for you. I figured you'd show up early enough. I suppose the girl next to you is your client. She suits that uniform to a T. Oh, um, hello. Come on, we only just walked in the door and you already got her red. <laughs> My name's Bermotti, sweetheart. I'm the owner and bartender of this fine establishment. Complete with heart-shaped jewelry on the uh, le le vest lapel. <laughs> Van and I have a very special relationship. Complete with the flirtatious wink. You have a boyfriend? We just scratch each other's backs, that's all. Helps he make some of the best coffee and cocktails in town. <laughs> He's also a first-rate information dealer with a hell of a lot of fishy contacts. Oh, I see. My name is Agnes Claudel. It's a pleasure to meet you. Well, isn't she a polite one? What a lovely client you have today. So I assume whatever led you here regards Giacomo? That's right. Word travels fast. Yeah, of course it would. The scene of the crime was practically in my front yard. I found him difficult to like as someone in the same trade, but I've never wished this on him, even if he did most likely bring it on himself. What do you mean? So he did put his hand in the fire. Guessing it was last night? 
well guessed. You're absolutely right. One of my sources tells me he tipped off the police. He said a criminal gang was in the midst of a massive drug deal. That's no good. Not that uncommon. But I'm more thinking it was a hoax. Indeed it was. The police arrested several from the scene, but they found no evidence the drugs ever changed hands. However, it did look like they were in the middle of a dispute of some kind. But who the farther party was, they could not ascertain. The ones caught were also saying something along the lines of who ratted us out. They wouldn't have done it, so it was something someone on our side. Huh. Yeah, judge it by all you've said, it sounds like those criminals in that other party were still scheduled to do some kind of deal. I mean, if it wasn't drug related. And Giacomo called the police on him, creating confusion by doing so. Well, well. Yeah, you're dead on. He then took advantage of that to make off with something from the scene. Ended up with a one-way ticket to the other side for it. My thinking is along the same lines as yours, though. I haven't got a clue what the something in question is. As for how he's able to make off with it completely undetected, I can only speculate. There must have been some kind of trick to it. You don't think he used a Zifa, do you? No, there still aren't many of them in circulation. I think he used the previous model, which fit his objective much better. There's a fair number of them making the rounds on the black market these days. A Ramda, huh? Alfred's fish fifth generation Norman? Yeah, the one developed between Vern and the Epstein Foundation a while back. It was used by the police and army for a while, but as soon as the 6th gen was introduced, they wasted no time dumping it. Zeef is better, sure, but the Ramda was just as good as Erebonia's Arcus back then, with its most notable feature being stealth capabilities. And of course, the Arcus is the uh, is the primary orbit of the Trails of Cold Steel games. So you think he used that stealth to hide something? Quite. Well, less something and more someone. Himself. It lets you disappear as if by magic. How long it lasts depends on the user, and it can't, and it can't avoid tripping sensors. But slipping into a scene that's already in disarray? Stealing something? No, oh, but child's play. Hmm. That does make all the sense. Makes sense. Puts it all in perspective for us, huh? When we charged into the maintenance room after hearing a scream, all we found was Giacomo's corpse. But we weren't the only people who were there. The criminals who slit his throat were still there, too. They just snuck right past us using Ramda's stealth capabilities. What fearless criminals they are. Certainly not bottom of the barrel. We could be dealing with Jaegers, or perhaps... Whoever they are, they've recovered what they've looked so for, so I doubt you'll find success in pursuing them any further. So Jaegers in, um, in this series are uh, basically um, a group of very elite mercenaries. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Oh? Knew he wouldn't keep me waiting. Here are all the bases he used for the past few years, complete with security locks. Thanks. We'll call this even. <laughs> oh, and just to add, there's been no sign of any Jaeger cores in the move as of yesterday. Well, be seeing you. All right. Guess I'm in your debt again. What was that all about? So Giacomo had multiple hideouts, did he? That could mean whatever he stole is in one of those. But if it wasn't a Jaeger core he had to run with... Oh, forget it. I can't believe you turned into Dingo. Right? No, I can't believe you turned to Dingo. And right in front of me, you know I'll sing like a canary for you any day of the week. Eh, sorry, but I never was much of the faithful type. Jesus, man. So I make their leader the Jaeger Meister. You know what's amazing? That, that joke had never, ever even remotely occurred to me. <laughs> oh, man. Well, we got a lot of new information out of that. Actually, the Jaeger, uh, the Jaeger's leader is pretty cool. I'm just surprised at how well connected you are. What can I say? I spend time put, uh, I spend time putting people in my debt so I can cash in favors when I need them. You must them. have amassed quite a collection by now. Uh. Oh. I'm guessing this oh. is. I'd heard you were a regular at this establishment. But I wasn't expecting to run into you just as it was opening. <laughs> that makes two of us. First Renee, then you. Hell of a day for me. I'm guessing this is the woman that uh, Kincaid asked if we'd seen. You've certainly spent a lot of it skulking around. Up to no good, I assume. I imagine it was half your own fault that you got hauled off to the police station. Wish I could argue otherwise. Should have known it wouldn't take long for you to hear about what happened and come running. Of course. I've paid a visit to the scene of the crime as well. 
Giacomo was hardly a pleasant person, but he was a decent informant to use when work called for one. And again, the fashion of this game and the, the outfit designs are are amazing. <laughs> I hope you know that the detectives at the station and that reporter are very displeased with you, by the way. But it's always nice when the characters have style. Your love of causing trouble for everyone and taking advantage of it to further your own goals has never been a bright spot for you. Don't got a clue what you're talking about. Damn, this is awkward. <laughs> I can't believe it. Forgive me. My name is Elaine. I'm sorry for interrupting your conversation. Oh, not at all. I think we have much to discuss, but we're also both busy, so that can wait for another time. Whoever can solve this case first, the CID, the police, the guild, wins the prize lying in wait. That also goes for our presumed suspects. I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. Be careful not to get too involved here, Van. I'm almost certain that the two people who killed Giacomo were from A. Thinking the same. But I'll chalk myself up to owing you one for telling me. Cat, do not bite my foot. Ow! I literally just told her not to bite my foot. <laughs> You're such a little shit. Hi, baby girl. I know. I love you too. What? You want a pet? You, you know her? What? You do too? I guess she does pop up in the paper every once in a while on a blue moon. Of course I know her. She's really famous. I don't think there's anyone in Calvert who doesn't know the face of Elaine Euclair. She's one of the youngest racers ever to reach A rank in the Gill. They're ace. A and they even call her, I, I can't remember, but it's something like Beauty's Blade. Elegant enough for someone so adept with the swordsmanship of the old kingdom. <laughs> Hard not to feel for her having beauty slapped on her title. Are, are the two of you close? She's just an old friend. Anyway, we've wasted enough time here. We almost got this one in the bag. We could talk stuff through while we're on the move. Hello, cat. Hello, cat. I love you, cat. Make it short. I think it's safe to assume the thing Giacomo made off with is the ornament you're looking for. We know it was stolen from an antique shop a week ago by a gang of punks. Said punks then met with a pair of others to deliver it and at this point likely had some dispute over Mira. That was when the police charged into the scene, leaving Giacomo, who called them, to snatch the goods using his Ramda. But then that pair tracked him down the very next day. They waited in ambush for him at the crime scene, murdered him, stole his Ramda and used it to escape. Ramdas are like any other kind of computer in that they've got apps to note things down and store info in them. Giacomo was always the cautious one, so I'm sure he wouldn't have made the info too easy to identify. But I'm guessing the locations of his hideouts were on there, so the culprits could use the device to find him. You think his murderers are using the Ramda to find which spot his, uh, uh, has what he stole then? Pretty much. Fortunately, we've been able to use data on his recent movements to narrow down the top three places it could be. One's in front of Treon Tower in the 3rd District. One's near Central Station in the 7th. And then there's one in the 12th District around the Grand Circuit Racetrack on the outskirts of town. Which of them would you say is the most fishy? Well, I would say the Grand Circuit, personally. Hmm. And a lot of times you'll get various bonuses for guessing the right answer. Okay, so Central Station was the right answer. Well, whatever. Until last night, they were both full of people because of Summerfest and the Z1 Grand Prix. Oh, I see. Having more people than usual will raise the odds of someone seeing him enter his hideout. Well, that's an event I didn't even know about. How am I supposed to... Whatever. Exactly. He wouldn't have wanted that. That's okay. On replays, we'll know to do Central Station. <laughs> There's a door down the alley just before the station that leads underground. My guess is Giacomo hid what we're after down there. 
And that means the we should... The next stop will be in the cathedral in Edith Feast District. Those traveling to the cathedral or Aramis Academy... Nah, no way. You're getting off at the next stop. What? Close the station to your dorms, right? Don't worry. I'll have this thing cracked by the end of the day. And the goods with you by tomorrow. But you were fine with me helping you before. Before. This is now. The affiliation of Giacomo's murderers changes everything. Are you referring to that A group? Yeah, everyone's on guard about him right now. Not just the cops in the guild, either. I'm talking other organized crime groups, and even Jaeger Corps. If that's who we're up against, I can't promise I can keep you safe. But this is what we gotta do. I'm sorry. We are now arriving at the cathedral. The doors on the left side will open. Like she wasn't just going to hop on back on the train on the other door, right? I thought I told you to get off at the next stop. You'll have to forgive me for being selfish, but you have to understand just how much that memento means to me. It's something that connects me not just to my great-grandfather, but my mother and grandmother too. And that's not the only reason I want to see this through now. A man is dead. I know you don't like the idea, but... But I feel like I have to be a part of this. Whatever may come to happen. I'll do everything I can to ensure my own safety. And I'll do everything you ask in the field. So please... Won't you let me come with you? <sighs> Fine. You're the client. I can see you at least know your way around that staff and arts. <sighs> but you're gonna have to do everything to keep yourself safe. And if I give you an order, you follow it. If you fail to do that, I terminate our contract then and there. We clear? Absolutely. Thank you. We are now arriving at Edith Central Station. Those transferring to the Transcontinental Railroad. What, kitty kitty? Feels like the sun went down real fast. I exit. Okay, yeah, we can at least pause. All right, give me a second. I'm going to get a soda refill and also try to figure out what my cat wants. I'll be right back. What, kitty kitty? What, kitty cat? Hi, kitty cat. Uh, you're behind me. Hi, kitty kitty, what you doing? What's up? Thank you for recording. You want to hang out in the room? Are you an asshole? Do you need to be an asshole? What you doing? Yeah, are you looking out the window?
I have returned. That is happy. That is always good. <laughs> oh, she is such a character, man. Okay. So let's resume here. Now then, where were we? Oh yes, we just got to the new, uh, to the Riverside Death Strike here. But even at this hour, with nothing going on, there's so many people. It's how most people arrive in the city after all, not to mention all the department stores. There's also that fancy new Orville store that doubles as a cafe that's been drawing a lot of customers. Why would they, why would an Orville store double as a cafe? Yeah, I know the one. Funny thing how much this area has changed in just a couple of years. Those big screens weren't here before either. Yeah, big screens, that's very new for this world. But now it's hard to imagine them not being here. The city's changing so fast, it makes your head spin. <laughs> True it is. It's kind of like those uh, pictures of Times Square from like 1950 to like 1970 and then 90 and then 2010. And it's like those 20 years, my goodness, Times Square looks dramatically different. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, very good evening to you, Edith. It is now 6.45 p.m., which means it's time for today's evening news. President Graham Hart held a press briefing at the Presidential Building in Vontai at 3 p.m. today. He discussed this year's ending of the reparations from Erebonia and with it, the impact it will have on Calvert's future. It has been two years since the Erebonian Empire launched an unprovoked war of aggression against us. A vile act we were generous enough to forgive. Well, forgive with reparations. <laughs> the price it paid in the form of reparations was steep, but every last mirror was, in my strong opinion, justified. I believe its actions, its atrocities, the past several centuries are behind it. I warmly welcome it back to the international community with open arms, promoting an era of peace between us, even when it comes to Crossbell State. With reparations due to come to an end this year, some have raised concerns that an economic recession is on the horizon. Those fears are unfounded. We have used these past two years to transform our economy to bolster our capital, to better our technology. No nation has surpassed what we have accomplished because no nation can. We cannot take our supremacy for granted. I have every intention of taking this power and using it to lead our great world as a whole to a more glorious, prosperous future. Well, if it isn't everyone's favorite president, he's a little heavy handed, but you can't say he hasn't delivered. Average GDP passed the empires in his first year in office, and this year is on track to surpass that by a lot. Yeah, I suppose that's true. He's been enacting some very dangerous policies across the board, and not just economically. Compared to the last guy, or compared to the last guy, yeah, Sam and Rocksmith seemed more grounded. Anyway, I didn't mean to talk politics. Would prefer not to waste time in rival territory. You have a rival? Oh, the Bracer Guild. I do remember hearing they had a branch near Central Station. Yep, maybe they aren't expected to hear anything close to home, but they've still got a sharp crew on board. So the Bracer Guild in um, in the Trails games, they're kind of like independent heroes. Uh, a lot of a lot of games, you're essentially either members of the Bracer Guild or you do jobs for the Bracer Guild. Um, the Bracer Guild would actually work really well in a lot of D and D settings. Um, because, you know, an adventuring party might sign up to be bracers and you show up and, you know, you go just go to the bulletin board and there's a bunch of, you know, jobs. And so if you're deranked bracers, you would take deranked jobs and you would, you know, go hunt goblins or what have you. And, you know, like the king's princess was kidnapped might be, a, a, you know, an A difficulty job. So only A ranked bracers would take that one and so on and so on. So that gives you an idea who the bracer guild is in this world. So anyway... Let's get back to work. We gotta get, uh, we gotta get what we were looking for before the duo who got Giacomo do. Right, do you know where the entrance to his base is then? Right over there.
The alley next to that old department store leads to the door we're looking for. Come on. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, uh, I was just paying attention. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Is there anything? That's where we're supposed to go. We want to look around here and see if there's anything we found. Anyway? Yeah, let's talk to people. Fuck it. This place never changes. Hello, Melise. Oh, I'm so tired. Work's been ruthless lately. I think I'm just going to pick up a prepared meal from the department store and get today over with. Running. Oh, taxi driver. Giordano. Hey, brother. Nice night, don't you think? Feels like the breeze will just blow my worries away. It's only natural to want to go out on a night like this. I can take you for a ride if you please. Um, this is kind of a unique taxi. <laughs> That's one hell of a ride. I don't want to check it out, to be honest. Sorry, man. Gonna have to pass on this one. Where I'm going, just round the corner. Ah, forget about it. Name's Giordano, brother. If you need anything, give me a holler. Alrighty. Not this way. Okay, they're not gonna let me. Alright, fine. Hmm. Fine. Don't let me explore. <laughs> like, that's the whole point of playing an RPG is to not go right to where you're supposed to go and actually, like, explore a little. Anyway, this is it? Yeah, this one doesn't lead to the subway. I'm thinking a lot of these restrictions will come off as the more we play the game, but like a lot of early, you know, RPGs or a lot of the a lot of RPGs in the early stages, they uh, they kind of pigeonhole you while you get used to playing the game so you don't get too lost or inundated with like information overload or get lost and not fig you know, because that's not fun either when you have no idea what the fuck you're supposed to do. But you could still jimmy it the same way. Was Giacomo the one who altered the locks like this? Not him. It's just been a thing us shady folks have known about for a while. There are places like this all over the city people make good use of. CID knows about him too. They just leave it alone. They do? Why? I'm sorry. I keep egging conversation on when we really need to move. <laughs> I'm ready for whatever we'll find here. Good. There's no turning back now. Hmm? Are we being followed? Something wrong? Nah, we can go in. Is that just my imagination? Nah. I don't pick up a scent, so I guess it doesn't matter either way. Hmm. <laughs> His nose is as sharp as ever. Adios knows how this is going to end, but it better be with my classmates safe, Spriggan. Alright, so that also helps how he knew the uniform. He knows somebody else that goes to Agnes's school. She said Spriggan, so not a sister or anything else like that. Alright, so now Seraph's gonna get a little more comfortable with combat in this game. I still think I prefer the turn-based stuff than the action sequences, but anyway. Is this place a relic from the Middle Ages? Might go back to the Dark Ages, even. Edith might not have a leg up on the old capital's history, but it still goes back to the Middle Ages easy enough. Tacking all the subways and waterways we've been building, and the underground's a sprawling mess and a half now. I see. I suppose it does make sense that a place like this would exist uh, would exist here when you think about it enough. Hmm. What? Crap. Oh, yeah, that warrants a crap. Uh, man, is that a monster? Well, a spirit, more like. Never seen them in the capital. What's up with this? Sure you don't want to turn back and wait outside the station? <laughs> Cafe would be a good spot to... No, I'm fine. I have a feeling my staff and arts will be highly effective against foes like these. So if anything, I'm relieved I came with you instead of staying behind. <laughs> Got me good. Then let's do this. I'll back you up, so feel free to go hog wild. Then I will. Oh, right. Let me give you these just in case. Oh. Tain to evade one and mind one. These are Zifa quartz, aren't they? Yeah. Insert them into your Zifa slots, and they'll let you use different shards. Give it a shot. You'll pick it up faster than me explaining it. Then I will. Alright, so they're probably going to make it... Yeah, they're going to make me go right to it. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so now we're going to do that and actually go in here. Okay, uncovering shard skills. Okay, so we were in here before trying to fuck with it. Now we can actually do that. Switching to maintenance mode. 
Yeah, we're gonna do it with evade. New shard skill added. Evade is awesome. And we'll go with mine one. All right. New shard so they skill sort of added. make it go with that. That's fine. So I really, I am a huge fan in these games of evade because you have a typical evade value, but these courts add to your evasion percentage. And I've always been a fan of anytime the enemy attacks you and just misses is incredible for your longevity. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a gigantic fan of that. EP cut, well, uh, so e you spend EP to do arts, i.e. magic. And so what EP cut does is it, uh, is it generally makes your, um, your, this one in particular, will make the EP cost 10% less than what it should be. So if it was normally 10, you'll instead be spending 9. Yeah, I'm like 99 on evasion skill. <laughs> yes, you are, ghosty. Yes, you are. That's the perfect way to explain that. <laughs> oh, man, that's awesome. <laughs> So let's uh, get out of here now that she's specified. Perfect. Now we're ready to move on. Yeah, let's get... Wait, this feels like a higher elements. Oh, not this shit. All right. So the higher elements are active here. It's going to explain what this fucking means. I hate this shit. What do you mean? I'm sure you could tell this part just from the fights we've had so far, but monsters are usually only weak to the four basic elements. Fire, worth, uh, fire water, earth, and wind. But every once in a while, you'll find a place where they could be weak or resistant to the higher elements of time, space, and mirage. You're saying that this is one such a place? Pretty sure it is, yeah. Either way, we'll soon find out. Let's get moving. And also, usually, um, yep, enemy elemental weaknesses. So we could check their weaknesses for their targeted for during a command battle. Um, but anyway... So, oh, and okay, good to know. And there are different types of weeks, so I should keep an eye open for that. Right, so let's, let's use this for recover. I think, hey, I, it's the spot. I think I already had anyway, but why mess around? We'll save. Yep, we're definitely saving. Um, and so in previous games, what would happen is when the higher elements are active, you also get different um, status effects or different bonuses on various turns and you get new ones the reason why i kind of groaned and i'm hoping it's not the case in this game because it it usually benefits the enemies more than you is that um so depending on what turn you're on like critical might be on a turn and so you want to make sure you go on critical so that you get the critical strike uh some turns you'll get health you don't want a boss to go on a turn where it's gonna heal that sucks um, but there are also other ones. There's like Vanish, at least in previous games. Um, and so that one's kind of annoying because if you go, if they go on a turn where Vanish is active, they could just make you vanish. Uh, but to me, the worst one is Deathblow. And if they go on a turn where Deathblow is active and they hit you, you just die. Now, granted, it works the other way around, but most of the time, statistically speaking, that's the to the enemy's advantage not yours. And of course, bosses are immune to death blow. So fuck you, right? <laughs> but anyway, ah, they sure snuck up on us. There are an awful lot of them too. They sure are. But it's times like these that shards really shine. Time to teach you how to use SLC, SLEMs. Okay, what are those? That's a good question. I have no idea. You'll see. I'll give you the rundown while we fight. Deploying shards. Right. SCLMs are activated upon making contact with a Party member. Take advantage of Zifa's shard system by overlapping Zifa's user's shard fields. To activate high level link moves. Ah, uh, okay, so this is their version of the link move system. Alright. Hopefully, this is better than previous games, because previous games, this got a little out of control. Attack while, a, uh, attack while an SL, uh, SCLM is active for your partner to perform a follow up attack. Yep, certain shard skills will activate more frequently if these things have to activate after the attack. All right, so it sort of rewards you for staying close to one another. Ah, okay. So I guess we'll do that. Interesting. And so if I just attack while our fields overlap, does it just work? Yeah. All right, that's pretty cool. Oh, cool. Certain arts will be more effective. 
Going all in. Or I could just do an art. But it's interesting that we get linked stuff. I think I'm just going to go over here, though. Oops, not that. Any way I can hit both of them? No. Well, let's see. They do appear to be very, very weak with that. Yeah, let's fuck it. Let's attack you with that. So you get to do that first. That's the only problem with all the art casts. But I still hit two of them. Which is what I wanted. Perfect. Alright, I'm gonna kill this guy. Alright, so I'm active and I can hit... I can hit that one. Which I may want to do. Does that still happen if I go there? Because he's gonna move and then attack. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. That one I can't attack. Okay, but this one I can. Cool. Yeah, we'll do overkill. Sweet. Alright, neat. So we'll do... Certain arts will be more effective. Yeah, let's see what happens Going when we do this. Sucker. Oh, I thought I'd kill it with that. That sucks. Oh, fine. Good luck. Yeah, let's just kill this thing outright. Oh, no, we won't be able to... Uh... Alright, so that one's gonna go here. Yeah, let's just kill this one. And we'll overkill it. I don't know what the advantage of overkilling is, but we'll take it. Yeah, let's just do links on this. I don't need to do arts. You'll pay for that. I'll heal afterwards. Here goes. We got this thing. There we go. All you on yes. Have some more. Alright, so it's it's an incentive to stay close by to your party members instead of splitting up. Alright, there's a good risk reward there. If you activate a craft or art while an SL's EM is active, your partner's power will increase. Oh, okay. Good to know. Good job. You kept up pretty well. So that's the power of an SL <laughs> I've never been able to understand how someone else was going to act so clearly before. Yeah, it's a lot like the combat link system used by Erebonia's 5th generation Arcus battle ornaments. I.e. the just the previous games we were just playing. <laughs> In this series, granted we didn't play these on stream, but that's the, you know, explanation for veterans of the, of the series. The Arcus units never saw much use outside of the Empire, though. Still, combat links were mainly designed to be used by two-man teams. Whereas SC, uh, SCLM is a system where it's a lot easier to switch around partners. That makes it a force to be reckoned with when used by large groups. And also, nicely enough for this game, makes it much more accessible for new players. Because without getting into the details of how it went before, you had to go into a battle set, like into the menu and configure it and switch and all, everything else. This game, you could easily, like when we have a bigger party, you could pretty much be switching off and on those links pretty much at will. That's actually really nice. Shards really are amazing, aren't they? I never imagined you could use them for so much. Yeah, I'm not an expert on them either, mind you. Still got a lot to learn myself. But even I could tell that the Zephyr standard has a whole lot of potential. Looks like you were right about that orbital staff of yours working well against spirits, too. Yep, I'm glad that proved true. The more we do it, the more confident I am in my ability to fight. I suspect we're going to need to make more use of SC SCLMs the farther we advance through here. So I think it would be prudent for me to be a little closer to the front line. What do you think? I'm fine with a little. I still don't want you going out in front of me, though. I can accept that. It is now possible to change the party leader. Ah, okay. Cool. Now it will let me do that. Fan handles close range and physical attacks. Agnes handles long range and magic attacks. All right. Switch it up to always have the advantage. Here goes. All right, so that's neat. Yeah. Oh, that actually is kind of cool. Here goes. I think I'll probably stick with him most of the time. 
Let's do a free recharge since I'm right here. Why wouldn't we? Him. Doo -doo -doo. Woo! That hits the spot. Nowhere to go up there. Go check this out. Boo -boo. Take you on. AT bonus, huh? Gain a variety of attack bonuses during battle, huh? You can also steal AT when they're stunned or unconscious. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. But yeah, it kind of gives you the idea of the breakdown of what your possibilities. So you got HP heal, each AP heal. You could get a crap ton of CP. If Sepeth is the icon underneath them in the turn battle thing at the very top, you get a Sepeth bonus. That's also very nice. Um... Oh, and God, and I've got a secret one. So you don't even know what it is until the turn. Great. Hmm. Hmm. Well. Keep it up. It's working. So I could just go up here. Oh, I can't attack anyway. So. That being the case, why don't I just do an art? Let's see what happens when we do an art. That's, uh. I can't do that. Well, I'm pretty much stuck with these, huh? Keep All right. It it's working. Oh, okay, right. Okay, well, at least I can hit... Okay, so do I want to hit those two, or do I want to target that spot? The problem is they may go before... Uh, they may go before I do, and it's a spot. So if they move, I'm boned. I should be able to go in the case. Yeah, well, let's just try this and see if I can get both of these. Activating try. Certain arts will be more effective. Going all in. Yeah, I would say so. Let's just go with the Hydra Cannon and see how it goes. Certain arts will be more effective. Yo, know, fuck it. Fuck these guys in particular. Initializing drive. Yeah, I was the problem with that. Ooh, but I'm still gonna hit you. Perfect. Nice. All you on, yes. Perfect. Double kill. So I think we could just go up here and we could just whack this guy. Keep it up. It's working. Yeah, let's just attack you. All you on, yes. Perfect. Yeah. Have some more. Nice. Okay, we're getting this. Finished. Now processing data. All right. So she's level four. He's getting up there in levels. Let's take a look here. So I didn't see any spot to buy a new weapon. So I still don't have an ability to do that. Yeah, that's the only option I've got. Hmm. Oh, right. I didn't equip this. Uh, so the question is, who do I want to have the extra 200 hit points? We need to give you the hit points. Yeah. We'll give you the hit points. I'd forgotten to equip that. That's my fault. Okay. Uh, him. Let's heal Agnes. Since I just gave her 200 hit points. Whew. That hits the spot. Run right back down. <laughs> now I've got a choice. I think I'm going up. I smell myself a treasure chest. But we got problems here. 
Try to scooch in on the enemy. Why is it not working? Thank you. <sighs> that was almost bad. We got an aura geist. Oh, fuck it's that working. is. That's a little scary. Um. Doesn't show me where the... You know what? Let's do that. Let's try it. Let's go with death flow here. Something's coming. Get ready. Yeah, that kind of looks scary as shit. So yeah, let's go with... Uh, will be more effective. Let's move you back so he's more likely to get attacked. Probably good. Yeah, that's probably good. Let's go for this. Initializing drive. There. There. I was hoping for an instant kill, but oh well. All right. Well, Chance. fucked you up, didn't it? Right, so you're gonna boost. Keep it up. It's working. Yeah, I don't think I like the idea of uh, doing an art here. I think we're gonna do stun slash, try and impede this guy. Certain arts will work better. This'll hurt. Uh, This'll hurt. Yeah, side attack bonus. Keep it up, it's working. There we go. I managed to finagle it so I've got the uh, the link bonus and the side here. Let's give it a try. Take that. All you on yes. There we go. Okay. So, ooh, and you've we've arts will be more effective. We have fucked you up. Something in. nice. You're gonna go behind. Yeah, I think we'll just do a nice little hydro cannon. Uh, Certain arts will be more effective. But the Saint Arrow is what you're weak to. Still is 417, huh? Yeah. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna hurt. There. All you on yes. Let's boost. It's I killed it by like five hit points. <laughs> okay. I'm thinking this was worth it. Because that was very optional. You could tell it was very optional, and there's a treasure chest up here. So let's go see why we fought that optional battle. That looks like a nice chest. Are we still doing phrasing? Marble ring, huh? Prevents mute. Ooh. ATS plus five, huh? Okay, so based on my previous experience with the game, ATS is something we're going to want to give to Agnes. That is definitely something we're going to want to give to Agnes. For sure. Uh, plus it prevents mute. And we don't want her getting muted. Um, because if you're muted, you can't cast arts. And right now, that looks like the best... Her best ability is to be able to bust out gigantic uh, sorcery, sorcery here. Speaking of finagling, I might have figured out how to leverage two command bots so that the shoutout command does both the chatbot shoutout and the big shoutout. Ooh, that is nice. That's actually... Oh, you know what? You could probably embed it. I'm guessing that's how you finagled it. I didn't even it didn't even occur to me to try to trigger both, but as soon as you said that, I'm like, oh, you know what? It didn't even occur to me that you could chain one to then invoke the other. So that yeah, has that worked? Have you tried that yet, or is that just something you're musing about? Didn't even occur to me. Fuck, that's fucking brilliant. <laughs> I was actually thinking about um, also activating a different shoutout that would play clips. Because uh, Tavari does that a lot, and Sal does that a lot, and part of it's neat, but there are a lot of um, there are a lot of Twitch streamers that don't necessarily like it. So I didn't want to replace my shoutout system with that, but I wanted to at least have it as an option uh, for when I know people enjoy it. Uh, I have two bots with two different things set to shoutout, so using one command should trigger both bots at once. Ah, that's another way to do it. Interesting. All right, what do we got here? Hmm. Oh, I did it too far away. Keep it up. I did working. it too far away, huh? Well, I hit both of you from here. Fuck it. 
We'll do a stun slash opener. I won't lose. Huh. All right. So you're you're casting Certain an art. Certain arts will be more effective. Hmm. Going all in. Yeah, let's Certain do. Certain arts will be more effective. Yeah, I went too close. I went too far away here. All right, I'm okay with that. Let's just do this and hit both of you with it. It's gonna go off first, but whatever. Ow! That sucked. Well, she still killed both of them. Processing data. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can get that charge attack to go. Arts work best on this end. Oops. Let's just get to work. Show them what you're really capable of. Take the sun. There. Gotcha. Man, this thing takes a lot of damage. You're still alive? Thank you. Let's keep moving ahead. Alright, I'm gonna try an experiment with doing both. If there's only one enemy, I'll try just fucking them up. Because I for the most part I could usually There's gotta be some way around all this debris. Nothing's jumping out at me. Hmm. Looks like he's deep in thought. I better leave him alone. Hmm. Now, where were we supposed to go? Wait, hmm. is that? Hmm. Okay, one thing I do want to do here. No enemies nearby. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to do that. Am I crazy? I should be able to use this. I want to act. I want to use tier. Why can't I yet use tier? Switching to maintenance mode. Mm, so I want. So this is that button. I mean, sure, let's save. But at the same time, I want to use... I don't want to use items. I mean, granted, I can, but I would rather use... Hmm. How do I heal? I want to heal from the menu. Should be able to go right here. Should be able to use tier. Why can't I use tier? What am I missing? Am I completely crazy? Feel like I should be able to use tier. Unless they don't let you use it outside of battle. But I should be able to still do it outside of battle. I completely lost my mind. Controls. Uh, save shop, navigation, change leader. Well, I don't want to miss that. Uh, <laughs> Shard skills. I know how to do that. Can I not do that in this game? I feel like that'd be a hell of a waste, right? Yeah, well, we as well read this. Yeah, I'm not reading all that right now, but let's at least have, view it as... Can I not do that outside of battle? That's ridiculous. 
Wow, I don't think I could heal outside of battle. That's dumb as shit. Let me heal. It's right here. It's here. Let me do that. Why won't you let me do this? Ah, there we go. What did I... What button did I hit? That's what I wanted. Okay, thank you. That is what I wanted to do. The question is, how did I do that? Okay. So, what button? What button? What button? So, A didn't do it. Okay, so that's what I have to do to do that. Okay, I just... It's just... It's buried behind another item menu. Okay, that's fine, though. At least I could do it. That's what matters. <laughs> that's what matters. I can do it. I just need to figure out how. Okay. Arts work best on this Give me your worst. Okay, I'm glad I did that. Uh, arts work best. So. Arts will work better. Keep it up. It's working. Let's try the man. That's really awkward. That door being there. Uh, all right. I want you in front. Sir. Yeah, let's go with Deathblow. I don't think Deathblow will work, but I'm going to try. I'll take you, on. you are definitely going to do the same here. We're going to back up. Going all in. Because that guy's going to move. That's Certain okay. Arts will be more effective. Yes. We're going to do Saint Arrow, and we're going to try and just... Arts will be more oh, effective. I can't. I only have 36. Fuck. Uh, all right. Well, hydro cannon. Right, fine. We'll do the hydro cannon. Yeah, I know. Oh, bastard! He moved. I'm surprised, actually. That really sucks. Fuck! What a bastard. This will hurt. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this. We'll go with this route. All you on yes. Yeah, that I definitely want. Yeah, well, I can't do that, so it doesn't fucking matter. Now, does it? You got this. I will take that, and I just gained EP from that. Sweet. That's gonna be a good one for me. Yeah, that hurt a lot. Oof. All right, so that sucked. Attack their weakness with an arc. Good luck. Oh yeah, I'm totally out of EP on you too. Okay, well, perhaps it is. Yeah, I'm not gonna get a side attack on either one of you guys. So fuck it, I'll just stay in front. Hope I can give you some cover for her. So his defense seemed to be a little higher. Let's see if I could just delay them a little bit. Good, I stunned one. So sweet. That works. Yeah, we'll do glow hammer again. Give me EP. Thank you. I agree with that. Let's do it. Good. Now. <laughs> so you see in the battle thing at the very top where it says zero, it's also going to mean this is going to be zero delay, which is amazing. So I get to cast basically magic for free. So yeah, we're going to fuck these guys up right now. And it's getting boosted. Perfect. They're dead. Okay. Yes. All right. So Van is now level six. That works. I just. There we go. All right. I was like, can I kick down a wall? Yes, I can. <laughs> Enemies. Perfect. Ah, EP charge two, huh? Restores 300 EP. That's nice. All right. Well, we're going to need that probably. <sighs> Holy smokes. That's the only, oh, that's the other problem with EP is it does, there's really no good way to regenerate it. 
other than like with items. So let's see. You only have 200 EP total. I could use this EP charge here and just almost, you know what? I'll use one of these. Good. That gets her almost to top. Almost. Well, actually, I didn't realize. Hmm. Could have done more than that, but I think that's fine. I don't want to be wasting a lot of, uh, Wow, 500 hit points. I'd really rather not. If I can help it. I'd rather just go to the Ordman. Whatever. That's only going to be 18. Let's heal you. That's, that's a good use of resources here. That was a tough fight, so let's save. Because we got, we got down, we were low there for a little bit. Yeah, I'm glad I healed up a little bit there. Oh, okay. Scripted battle here. There are even more monsters this time. Yeah, but I might have an idea how to take care of them. How's my boost gauge, Mirror? Boost gauge fully replenished. Yeah, good stuff. What was that about? I'll show you. Time for your second lesson in using shards. Okay, now I'm guessing this is going to be an S-Craft. Shard boost. Yep, S boost. Well, S boost? Okay, it's not quite S craft first, but I'm guessing it's gonna be similar. Uh, Alright, so left bumper. So different effects from hollow cores are activated and shard skills trigger more often. Alright, so S boost is maintained for two turns. S boost extended by an extra turn. Boost chances of scarred shell activation. Use 100 to activate S craft. There it is. Uh, so yeah. Activated S boost can be deactivated, but can be deactivated by holding down left bumper. All right, so use a shard boost to get the upper hand. So you're gonna be what I probably want to do. Keep it up, it's working. All right, so how do I do the? Oh wait, how did I do the S craft? Attack their weakness with an arc. I'm not crazy, right? Mm. Okay, so, but how do I... Where's my S-Craft? That's kind of what I was going for here. Keep it up. It's working. Mm, I feel like I should be able to do that. Arts will work better. Is I supposed to hold it down? It did say that, right? Oh well. Fine. Let's just do the stun slash here. We'll hit these... Got a whole slew of them. All right, well, we'll hit these guys with the stun slash, and I guess that'll just have to be good enough. Well, we just wiped out a whole fuck ton of them. So that was nice. I'll take you on. But still, I feel like I should have been able to, uh... Certain arts will be more effective. Uh, Going all in. We'll go with that. There. Sucker. A chance. Look at this. Yeah, we'll just keep bashing him this way. We got this. Ooh, she's almost a level 5. Sweet. We did get some good XP off that. Oh, we got an S-Tablet. Sweet. That wraps that up. s boosts seem like they'll be very useful when the timing is right. They are, though. Uh, they are... Though they aren't really the kind of thing you have to save for just the right time. Just use them when you can. That's all there is to it. Well, isn't that convenient? I'll keep that in mind. Okay, renew. Required XP. You can review the results for your last battle anytime from the battle tab of the log menu. Oh, that's pretty nice. Ah, unscathed. Okay, so these are our tactical bonuses. Yep, defeat four or more enemies at once. We got Vanquisher there, because we killed four of the little mini enemies in one shot. Uh, 
Cancel enemies. Arts. Yep, we could do that. Okay. Yeah, we've been breaking those. Yeah, we've we've been doing that. Yeah. We have in fact been doing that. Yeah. I'll take you on. Let's do that. Oh, I should have waited for them to get closer. Um. No, it's fine. Yeah, let's just do this. Going all in. Ah, uh, okay. Be that close for it. Certain arts will be more effective. Mm, really rather not. So fine, well, I guess we'll do that. I'll stay behind Certain you. Certain arts will be more effective. <sighs> yeah, we'll do just do the high scan. It's cheap enough. Ah. I see the problem is when they move like that. There. All you on yet. Here goes. Yeah, they do not like arts. <laughs> Still can't quite move up close enough to hit you. I could hit you from here though. So fuck it, let's do it. Take that. Take this. I won't lose. And now you're close enough for us to beat the shit out of you. Sucker. Well then, away we go. Oh wait, there's more. Arts work best on this enemy. We should have the advantage. Proceed with caution. Don't forget about your charge attack. There. Gotcha. There. Two, two, there. Two, two, there. Two, two, there. Two, two, there. Take this. Yeah. Yeah. Two, two, there. Ah, she leveled up. It should be safe for now. All right. Well, we'll take that. These idiots up here. We got a treasure chest over there. Wonder which way I want to kind of go here. That's probably the way to that treasure chest, and then that's probably the way down. But that could also be a dead end. Let's go deal with this. Time for you to focus. Yeah, let's do this. Give them your all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'll take you on. There. A chance. Yeah. <laughs> Huh? Looks like a chest. There are so many of them. Look out! Okay, so in this case... Use a shark boost to get the upper hand. Mm, kind of hoping I could hit more than them than that. But I can't. Let's do that. Not really sh Half hurt. the time I'm not even really sure what that does, but... Yeah, let's just hit all three of these fuckers. Wipe out that guy. Oh wow, it still wasn't dead, huh? Got your number. Ooh, I like counters. <coughs> nah, it kind of sucks to hit both of us with that. Lame. You'll pay for that. Oh yeah, you will, motherfucker. Use a sharp to get the upper hand. Full sure, why not? Keep it up. It's working. And we're gonna hit all three of you this time. 
double kill. And that's enough out of you. Even if you don't get killed, yep. Van will finish you off. Well then, away we go. Ooh, okay. I'm at value. Hit one, huh? Alright, let's take a look here. <laughs> Shifting to maintenance mode. Okay. New shard skill added. We got hit one. Let's run. Pick up the pace here. What a massive foe. And the bigger they are, the harder they tend to hit. Try not to get too close. We're best fighting it from a distance. About deadly strike. Oh shit. Every so often, certain enemies will use powerful attacks called deadly strikes. These attacks cannot be avoided, and if you are hit by one, you will be forced into battle at a disadvantage. It is best to either keep your distance and remain vigilant for these attacks, or to deploy in your own shards first. Bear in mind that enemies with low HP tend to use deadly strikes more frequently. Nice. Alright. I'd rather just I'd rather just be in it. Use a shark boost to get the upper hand. Attack their weakness with Yeah, may as well. Since we got a free one here. It's working. Still not sure exactly. Yeah, that's the problem. Is the right the right one in for display details also turns on high speed mode now, so I'm gonna have to switch that back to left. I'm gonna have to have to left this. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, though. Um, I think what we're going to do, we're going to do aerial dust on that fucker. And I'll stay right in front of her to do that. I am blonde, black kind wind boss on black badge. Uh, I think we'll do this. Yeah, we're not fucking around with this guy. Zero risk Your with this target. Arts will be more effective. Initializing drive. That hurt. There. Oh. There. That sucked. Oh, won, yes. But it's still gonna hit this fucker. Here goes. Right, well, at least that asshole's dead. Uh, I would like to hit... I would like to do the S-Craft if I can. I'm not sure why I can't activate the S-Craft. I'm not sure what I'm... What I need to do for that. This'll hurt. Surely I'm missing something with that. Yeah, this fucker is uh, big. <laughs> fucker is very big. Going all in. Certain arts will be more effective. Yeah, I don't want to just go through all my Saint Arrow, but you know what? Fuck it. Arts will be more effective. Yeah, let's just do this. Ugh. There. Damn, that sucks. Use a shard boost to get the upper hand. Certain arts will work better. Fucker. Good luck. The bastard. Eat this. Fine, we'll do this. Right? How rude, right, Ghosty? <laughs> just, but yeah, that's something to keep in mind, because while you're casting, they can just... If if they're targeting a spot, they can just leave. So that part sucks. Uh, I think I am just going to attack here. Oh, it's him. Okay. Um. Okay. So where is the S craft? Certain arts will work better. Where is the S craft? It doesn't. Like, am I 
completely crazy? Maybe I'm completely crazy. I'm gonna have to look in there and see how you do that. Certain arts will be more affected. Sucker. I'll just keep chipping away at this guy. Got your number. Yeah, we may as well. Aerial dust for free. Let's do it. And he's stunned. Would have been better if she could have done those, but whatever. I think we caught him. All right, that was nice. Okay. Ooh, I think I have a better handle on them now. You did good, but no letting your large guard down because of it. Right, of course. It really was a hell of a performance, especially since this is likely her first day fighting for real. No way she wasn't raised with a silver spoon in her mouth. Braver than most would give her credit for. Throw in the weird ornament she's after, and I got questions. Just who is this girl? <laughs> By the way, sup? I've been bracing myself well enough against monsters and spirits so far, but do you think you could also tell me a little more about A, since we might be going up against them? Yes, I should, huh? Ordinary people are better off not knowing a damn thing, but if they're after your great grandfather's memento, then I guess there's no getting around it. That's kind of what I was thinking, too. First, A is just a code name. It's short for Almada. They're mafia that go way back here in Calvert. I don't like the sound of that already. Still, they weren't that big a group back then. We're not talking about a big Eastern syndicate here. They're nothing. Until they weren't. Over the last few years, they've gotten much, much bigger. <laughs> the Silver Spoon was definitely in some orifice. <laughs> They're the talk of the criminal underworld. Wow. But their name never ends up in the paper, I assume. Yeah, obvious why big papers like the Terrell Times won't cover them. But even gossip rags don't have the balls. It's an unspoken rule. Cross the line, you're done. I still don't know what the deal is with this memento you're after. But you really should go. Should have gone to the Guild of the Cops. You still could if you wanted. But... Well, not my job to force you to turn to them. Mine's to be there if, if you feel like you can't. The best outcome here is for us to get the goods before A can. Then have the guild swoop in and take the glory. Two birds, one stone. Three even. You make the guild sound like they're your cleanup crew. <laughs> you really have no shame, do you? Mighty pleased that you'd think so. Now, let's get a move on. Of course. Oh, come to think of it. Hmm? When you first refused my request for help, did you already suspect that the Mafia was involved in this? Hmm. She really is a sharp one. I had a hunch, yeah. There's been something ominous in the air since last night. All right. So. That's correct. Not a specific button. It's not a button. So how do I do this? Okay, activated S boosts can be deactivated by holding that. Use 100 CP to activate S craft. Okay, that's that's nice. How? Am I taking crazy pills here? This is the same screen, right? Is and it says use 100 S CP to activate S craft. How? Am I am I missing something on here? I activated the S boost. I went to at boost level two. But I don't see... I don't see how you're supposed to then activate the S-Craft. So your S-Craft is like the... The... Like, your ultimate move uh, in these games. And it says, okay, to use an S-Craft, you use 100 CP. Fucking how? I guess we'll go into the next battle and see if maybe I missed something. I feel like I looked all over that screen and I didn't see it. Maybe I'm just blind and or stupid or something. Just, yeah. just Looks like here. a chest. Let's grab this. But yeah, man. Ooh, Zerum powder. Cures KO. Yeah, we like that. Zerum powder is fucking awesome. 
Um, just weird. It's it's weird that I don't see it. Um, yeah, we'll we'll do it next. Gauge, fully replenished. Perfect, and we'll uh, we'll be able to. Um, we'll do. We'll, we'll definitely have another fight on our hands. We get we get plenty of that. Uh, actually, while I'm here, let's. Yeah, let's heal. And you know what? Let's just heal. That was... That was EP well spent. Going everywhere? Yes. Looks like I've gone everywhere. Yeah, let's, let's find out. Let's find out what Seraph's missing. Because there's got to be... There's got to be a way to activate it. I mean, they even tell you how much it costs. So... Whoops, dead end. It's Let's not. turn back. No, it's not. Yeah. Hold your horses, girl. We should look around a little more. It's not. There it is. <laughs> Hidden entrance? Huh, guys, nothing if not thorough. The side out should be dead ahead. Oh, my cat's meowing downstairs. This looks like a stopping point. Whew, that hits the spot. Give me a second. Let me see what my cat's meowing about downstairs. Give me two seconds. I'll be right back. Never mind. She was just looking for me. <laughs> she just wanted a pet. I guess she forgot where I was. <sighs> Alright. My cat. <laughs> my cat. She's such a character. Oh my god. Okay. That's why I call her my co-host. Because she figures prominently in Many, many, many a stream. That's okay. My cat is spoiled. It's okay. She's worth it. Uh, I did heal. Yes. Okay. Oh, wow. I'm so glad I saved. That's so Can't blatantly a boss. Middle Ages than this. <laughs> gargoyles, huh? And every time I've encountered gargoyles, they come to life and they're a bastard of a boss. Every single time. Maybe Giacomo had a better eye for hideouts than I thought. Hmm. Look at that. It's the spitting image of that picture you showed me. It really is. It perfectly matches the sketches in my great-grandfather's diaries. <gasps> I finally found it. <laughs> I'm happy for you. So it really does look like an orbment. But why is it glowing? Get back! Uh, 
It went inside the statue. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Are they resonating? Yep. Motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> fearless protectors. <laughs> We're gonna have to take care of these guys before we can make with your memento. But I know that's not enough to stop you at this point, right? Time to bust out your crafts, SCLMs, the works. Because here's where the real show begins. <gasps> Time to put this to use. Oh, maybe it wasn't enabled yet. Okay. No, I could use the S-Craft Vandalize Raid. Okay. Maybe that was my problem. It, it, yeah, okay. S-Break is now right trigger. Okay. That's why I was like, am I crazy? No, I wasn't crazy. It just, they didn't let you do it until now. All right. This immediately activates an S-Craft regardless of turn order. Ah, so just like before... So you could kind of use this to hijack certain uh, turns, like if you don't want them to go. So that's good to know. Using S-Break will auto-activate full boost if you meet the requirements. Okay. Interesting. So if I just hit right trigger... Let's see what happens. Ah, okay. And so, cool. Okay. Perfect. So if I do... Fuck it. Yeah, let's do it. Fuck these guys. Let's take a look and see what this looks like. Oh, okay. And we get a boost gauge extension. Okay, so triggering an S-Craft increases the max boost gauge by one. Oh my god! And we can get it up to nine? Oh my god! <laughs> the more filled your boost gauge is, the more consecutive S-Crafts you can trigger? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh my god, we could really go crazy with those. Okay. So I could even go Search again if I wanted to. Well, I could, in. I could theoretically go again if I wanted to. The question is, do I really want to? Uh. Okay, no. You know what? Let's. I think at this point, you know, which which one am I right? Now? Okay, I'm on that one. So I already went on that. Let's let's go with the arts here. Going all in. Let's hit you with the icicle hammer. Certain arts will be more of that initialized like than you are. It's gonna try and cancel me, but it didn't. She's still, she's still going. Ooh, counterattack. Yep. All you on, yes. Icicle hammer the shit out of you. Perfect. Good. You're all right. Well. Ouch. A chance. Fuck. And I'm on fire. That sucks. Go all out. Certain arts will work better. Well, I... Keep it up. It's working. Ooh, I've got that going for me. Attack their weakness with an arc. Yeah, I think so. I think we hit both Full of you. Go all out. Should hit both of you, right? I don't think it really Certain matters. Yeah, I'm gonna hit both of you. Fuck it. We'll go with the critical of this. Good, you healed. Uh, arts will be more effective. Good, we've got these guys on the ropes here. Let's actually, I think I'll stick close to Certain arts will be more effective. You're close enough, or let's just get separate here. I think we'll hide over here. 
yeah. Fuck this guy in particular. Certain arts will be more let's try and let's let's try and finish off this guy. Yep, that should kill you. Perfect. Yeah, now this guy's gonna go into some sort of super bullshit super mode. Certain arts will be more I'm effective. just gonna back off. Going all in. I think yeah, we'll go with the icicle hammer. That's the problem. I'm now completely down on that. Could attack his weakness with an art, but. Has 742 hit points. She's not gonna kill him either way. I think I should. One of my coin bullets I'll get at 20. Mm. Alright, I'm at 20. I'm at 18. How much does just attacking. Oh, I was too shy. Okay. But you missed. Oh. You know what? We'll just go right here. That up. Now I can. Oh, oh, we got him anyway. Yeah, let's go to detail results. Got a lot of XP. We're moving right along. So you've got Mary, you've got Aim. And we got Tenderizer. <laughs> uh, we, oh, right. We got U Material on this game. U Material are uh, rare. Is rare uh, is a rare drop that allows you to build uh, and essentially upgrade uh, really nice weapons. I'm drunk. One MS. Ah, nice. Well, I finally figured out how a lot of the combat works. Uh, some other things. Um, we should be about to pick up the uh, main item that we've been after. So we're about to find out if we're getting it or if there's going to be some bullshit plot reason why we don't have it. Like if these assholes with the stealth charm or the stealth stealth charms. Uh, with the stealth, uh, uh, orbman, uh, just took it while we were fighting the fucking gargoyles. Let's find out. The mages of the Middle Ages left behind some damn tough guardians for us. It bugs me why they'd pick now of all times to start moving. Well, whatever. You really stepped up. It takes a brave soul to fight like that against the unexpected. You mean it? Thank, thank you. I'm very fortunate I had you to show me the ropes. <laughs> well, the or Orbman is still there. Nice. Let me be the one to pick it up. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, just in case it's trapped. Looks safe enough to me. Well, here's what you came here for. Did it just react with her like a combat orbment? I finally hold a genesis in my hands. There's still more to find, but... I did it, Mom. Grandmother. I have no idea what a genesis is. <sighs> At least in the context of this game. Obviously, there are tons of... <laughs> I'm sure you guys are already coming up with, like... You know, Phil Collins jokes, uh, or Khan. <laughs> yeah, when will she find a Neo Geo? There it is. I was working my way down the list of possible references. <laughs> Say, on yes, this great grandfather of yours wouldn't happen to be. <laughs> ah, these assholes. There you are. Nice save, Van. Well, well, impressive footwork. Seriously. Was waiting on the duo from Almada to make their grand entrance. <laughs> I see our reputation precedes us. You must be Van Arkride, the Spriggan. And my reputation precedes me. Look, I'm not opposed to picking up some work from you types most of the time. Just as long as you don't cross the line, which you just did by firing at us. That's too bad. We were only aiming for your limbs. <laughs> so, uh, that might be one of the things you missed. So, um, the previous guy, uh, uh, 
oh goodness gracious i'm already i've forgotten his name already um but the original guy that got his throat slashed he had an ornament that allowed him to uh to essentially activate a stealth invisibility mode and so when those guys killed him they took it so yeah these guys have a device that essentially allows them to cloak awesome right we have no intention of killing the girl not since she seems to be connected to that device you however don't have that same privilege <laughs> you're real pros huh so much it makes me sick but it also makes my job a lot easier hmm ah! <laughs> Uh-uh. Don't move. <sighs> A practitioner of the Gekka school, I assume. Although, if they're Infernals, they just got, uh... <laughs> you know, they get bonuses for that. Even if that weapon marks you as more of a military close combat type. Good eye, but sorry. I'm not with the Gekka school. Anyway, you don't look like you know all that much about the device itself. But you're still gonna tell us everything you do know. And why you're after it. Van. I'm certainly curious too. What does a criminal organization even want this for? Beats me. We're just following orders. And an order's an order. Even if it costs us our lives! <laughs> What? Shit. You good? I'm fine. I'm more worried about you. Fast acting enhancement drugs, huh? Didn't think you guys had gone that low. Ever heard the stories about foreign mafias getting destroyed by that stuff? I'll thank you not to compare us to small fry like Crossbell's Ravach. We stand head and shoulders above them. And now we're gonna stand head, shoulders, and feet above you! <laughs> Where'd that spunk from earlier go? We're gonna enjoy this! Got that out of your system? You're done, Spriggan! Don't you dare! <gasps> the hell? Fine then, you can die too! Could do a shard shield. No time. Damn it, don't die over a piece of shit like me. What's going on? Uh, don't question it. Just grab the thing and run out of there before they There's figure a out. light coming from my great-grandfather's. Oh boy, you sure are in a sorry mess. What? How is this? The hollow from your Zypha. Well, Interesting. Then, the choice is yours. Will you bear the nightmare or not? <gasps> what are you? Since I when love big choices appear like this. World's full of mysteries. Are you asking me that question of your own free will? Huh? Of course I am. Just so we're clear, I could not care less how much trouble you're in. I'm just here to know one thing. Will you bear the nightmare or not? Man. <laughs> Man. Today's just one thing after another, huh? My life's been a living nightmare for more than a decade now. So what's a little more fire when you're already in the depths?
<laughs> so, yes. I was just going to say, like, well, if the choice is uh, death or be the nightmare, then sure, I'll bear the nightmare. And yeah, that was kind of what I was thinking, too. Like, she's the fae. Kill the fae. <laughs> All right, let's do it. What the? You would? Right. You guys are dumb. You down in the name of Almada! Here goes! Just like such an anime type of like development, right? <laughs> Marty's two powers activate! Yeah, right? The Grendel can act multiple turns in a row. What the fuck? Select what action you want to take from the list and perform some heavy hitting moves. Only one turn will pass if you select Defend. Mare will always act as support during Grendel battles. Okay. So th this is this is like shards of Xenogears all over the place, right? <laughs> and we get a special uh, S-Craft, huh? You're an so we get a couple. So I can either Defend, I can do a Rapid Onslaught, or I could try this rapid. You ready for me? Rap savage blade thing. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do that. I can't do an S break because I don't have enough uh, SP recovered here. Well, let's try this just to see what's gonna happen. <laughs> Wait, Give what? up. <laughs> oh, we can. Query things, okay. Time for some payback. All right, S boost attack usage count. Activate an S boost to increase how many turns the Grendel could perform. Oh shit, okay. Oh my god. So, yes, rapid onslaught, savage blade. Sure. Yeah, we'll do the rapid on slot again. Right. Fuck it. Here come. <laughs> These guys are so fucked. These guys are so fucked. Oh, so he's id from Xenogears. That's 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 my takeaway from this, right? Do something already. So we'll go with this first. Rapid on slot. You're yeah, rapid on slot. <laughs> What the? Time for some payback. We'll do rapid onslaught twice. There we go. Whatever. Whatever, douchebag. Do something already. Don't hold back, Dan. Oh. Uh, it's not letting me do it, even though I've got enough CP for it. Why isn't it letting me do the S S break here? That's weird. Do something already. Eat this. I managed to do that twice. Oof. We'll take that. Hmm. Interesting. Don't hold back, Dan. Do something. Yeah, we'll just do this three times. That's a lot. You, you're gonna run out of HP in that. <laughs> you got boost power. Do 
Okay. Was not expecting to turn into like a pseudo mecha in this game, but hey. <laughs> what is he? Shades of the mecha battles from Man, Cold Streel. Are you all right? I'm fine. Tired as all hell, but I don't feel any pain. Can't believe I just took down a pair of drugged up mafiosos like they were snot nosed kids. What a monster. What was that? You saw Mare too, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just tell me what you want. <laughs> wow. Uh, that reminds me, I need to play through Slave Zero X, yeah. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> Figures. All she spits out is what she's programmed. She's got no sentience. The tech hasn't come far enough to give her any. But... But she definitely was, you know, acting pretty sentient was there for a the second Genesis, there. Then? Well, can't imagine it was a fluke. So that thing's called a Genesis? Yes, or that's what my great-grandfather called it in his diaries. It's supposed to be one of eight, called collectively the Oct Genesis. <sighs> you saying there's eight of these? I'm gonna guess it was behind everything that happened here. Behind Mare showing up, behind me turning into that weird monster, behind spirits popping up down here too. Then we're of the same mind. The diaries describe them as for experimental observation and nothing more. Of course, they elected to omit the finer details. You know, when I accepted this job, I didn't think it'd be from a relative of the one and only Professor Epstein. Huh? Dead on, huh? That thing was made half a century ago, around the time of the Orbal Revolution. It's easy to tell by looking at it just how much precision and skill went into making it. Then you got that it's an orbment capable of doing artifact level stuff. Even Epstein's three disciples couldn't have made something so advanced back then. Knock them out of the running, and you're left with the father of modern tech, Claude Epstein. <laughs> I'm sorry for hiding it from you. I'll tell you everything there is to say. It all started when... Not now. Put it away. Quick. Van! Are you alright? Uh, oh. <laughs> I see. We were a few minutes too late. Those two are... They're from Amada. We finally caught them. Get lost. This is our territory. Who do you think you're talking to? This isn't a job for civilians. Just what happened here? I can see that you fought them, but beyond that... We fought, yeah. With how pumped full of drugs they were, it was a miracle we could make it out with our skin intact. Uh -oh. <laughs> as curious as I am about how you emerged victorious, I trust you were able to help your client? <laughs> no comment. That's between me and her. Now, I know I owe both sides here a debt, but consider them paid. They might be at the bottom of the chain, but they're still in Almada. You can have one each. Excuse me? <laughs> Who gave you the authority to- I suppose we do owe him for neutralizing them. Very well. We shall take them in between us. Maybe if you're lucky enough, they'll even talk. Now come on, let's get out of here. Oh, um, sure. But let me help you walk. I'm good, I'm good. This is clearly only the beginning of something much greater. <laughs> Sharpen your skills while you can, Van. Will do, Renee. Kincaid. <sighs> do what you do best. Find something simple and complicated. 
can't let him keep living like this. Why must you insist on shouldering all of the burden yourself? That is so true. That is so true of any fucking JRPG protagonist. Find something simple and fucking complicate it. <laughs> Damn. Guess I'm going without dinner. You even good to be out this late? I thought students had a curfew. That's kind of you to think of me, but I received permission to be out this late beforehand. Never mind my curfew. Won't you let me see to your arm? Do you have a first aid kit in the office? I do, but... It looks like it started healing on its own. I know it wasn't that bad in the first place, but it's still healing way too fast for it to be normal. Wonder if I got that orbment or turn it into a monster to thank for this. <laughs> this all began with those diaries. They were passed down from my great-grandfather to my grandmother, and then down to my mother until her death four years ago. As you guessed, my great-grandfather is the famous Professor Epstein. It was known at the time that he had an adopted daughter, but she went missing very suddenly after he passed away. By the sound of it, something compelled her to shy away from the public eye. I don't know what that something was. It wasn't written in the letter she left me. <laughs> like relationships. <laughs> then after my mother died, my father began to lose himself in his work. And now all alone, I became more and more captivated by the many diaries that were left behind. That's something could have been Uncle Jeffrey's reputation. Oh God, right? So I will say this, right? I feel like this should be obvious. But Professor Epstein was a character in this game long before that Epstein was ever commonly known. <laughs> yeah, I know you bastards had to. <laughs> they weren't filled with complex formulae or specialist knowledge or things like that. Sort of similar, right? Like with Archer, how they were a member of ISIS. Yeah, we don't talk about it though, right? Um... How Archer, you know, he had the organization ISIS, and then the actual shitheads ISIS showed up. And my attitude would be like, Archer shouldn't have changed their name. It's like, no, 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 no. We were first. Why should we change our name? Because they suck. It's kind of like, uh, you know, uh, Michael Bolton. It's like, why should I change my name? He's the one who sucks. <laughs> so, <clears throat> ergo in this game, I'm glad they didn't change the name just because somebody in real life sucked and was a complete degenerate garbage human being. Uh, that no talent ass cloud. Hello, so quick tangent here. If you guys ever want a hilarious laugh, go on YouTube and go Michael Bolton plays Michael Bolton. And the actual Michael Bolton does all of this, like that big scene where he basically just shit talks Michael Bolton the whole fucking time. And it's amazing. I never knew that guy had such a sense of humor and could laugh at himself in such a genuine way. It's amazing. It's awesome. Instead, they were about who he was as a person, what he was like, what his philosophies were, what he valued most in life. He wrote about the little things that colored his days, his bonds with his loved ones, his time spent with his disciples. I did not know he auditioned to be the lead singer of Black Sabbath. Are you fucking kidding me? That's amazing. I could see through every word written that he was a kind, warm-hearted man with a good sense of humor. A man I could respect a great deal. <laughs> Obviously, he didn't get the gig right, Ra. Um, uh, Tim Owens got it instead. Um, but my God, can you imagine Michael Bolton as the singer of Black Sabbath, that would have been fucking amazing. I was so happy to have his writings so I could peer into his world, just like my mother and grandmother before me. I don't think it would have worked, though, even though I do think Michael Bolton has a good set of uh, a good voice and all that. 
but it's just, sometimes things just don't work. Look at Van Halen, the third band arrangement. It just it just didn't work. Uh, I think he lost a ton, Tony Martin, not Tim Owens. Ah, yeah, that would make sense too. And before I knew it, those diaries became my most treasured possessions. However, at the end of his final entry, on the very last page, I found a shocking message. All right, Freakbot, I'm getting starting to get hungry, so once we find a good stopping point, we're probably just going to raid out to you, and I'll, I'll probably see you pretty shortly here. Because, yeah, stomach is starting to be like, hey, I'm a little empty. Feed me. <laughs> so we'll, we'll, see you, we'll see you sooner rather than later. It said, recover the Oct Genesis before the year 120X, else all we know will come to an end. Well, that's ominous. Pretty ominous thing to write down. It could have been a delusion that came to him in the winter of his years. That's an interesting expression. I, I've not heard that one, but I mean, it obviously makes sense. In the winter of his years. That's, that's great. But I began to feel that it was why his diaries had been passed down to me. And as the days wore on, my desire to do something to avert the end he foretold grew stronger and stronger. But I knew I couldn't go public with any of it. Not with my grandmother's disappearance. That led me to enroll at Armas Academy, where I met a very dependable upperclassman. Her advice took me to the Orbal Net, and that led me to you. I just never thought when I started all of this that these would be the consequences. That someone would die. That you would be put in so much danger. Hmm. Well, you managed to get one of them. Even if there are still seven more out there, you could always call it quits here. I can't. Not when they're what connect me to my family. Not when I now know they really exist. And not after seeing that final entry. I can't look away from all of that. Here. This 50,000 Mira is everything I was able to gather for this. Please. Accept it as compensation for all the help you've given me. I thought I told you my rate. Well, um, you did, but I don't feel that it accounted for that injury you sustained because of me. I intend to find the remaining seven on my own. I don't want anyone else to get hurt because of my problems. Oh, but I'll be very careful about it. Promise. <laughs> huh? My rate's 1,000 Mira an hour, excluding other necessary expenses. I'll bump it up a little because of the danger involved, but you rolled up your sleeves more than your average client. You put yourself in danger to help me. Any more than 10,000 would be ripping you off. This is how the world of work is. Good thing you're still in school, because you got a lot to learn. Maybe, but still... I'm sorry. I just feel you've taken on a lot more than you bargained for from start to finish. To be honest, that whole turning into a monster thing's got my interest peaked. So it wouldn't feel right to ask you for even more Mira with how we're gonna keep this thing going. What are you... Unless you decide to give up altogether, I'll pitch in however I can from here on out. In exchange, you can share any info you got on the Genesis, or anything those diaries say. How's that sound? <sighs> um, correct me if I'm wrong. But are you telling me that even though you know it might be dangerous, you're going to help me search for the other seven without taking additional compensation? Hey, info's good compensation. I ain't taking a single mirror, though. I'm gonna need you to get more used to real combat, too, for your own safety. Can't have you leaving yourself wide open and all that good stuff. And I'm gonna drill it into you until you're up to snuff. I... I, I don't know... This doesn't sound like a fair trade at all. I'm the only one benefiting here. I'm well, guessing there's more to the story. Then, then thank you very much. Having your support means a lot to me. Ben's got another reason. It's... I just don't know what it is yet. Yeah, well, I'll be counting on you too. Alright, now that today's done and dusted, time for my hard-earned reward. The tart. I've been waiting for my Andalusia fig and honey tart all day. <laughs> I was going to scarf it down all by myself, but you pulled your weight today. So let's go half-half. <laughs> Thank 
Shit, I hit it early. But yeah, thank oh, you. But I still want to say... It really does bother me just how much I benefit from this arrangement compared to you. I was thinking of a way to even it out and thought, you know, how about I work here part-time? Huh? You wanna what? <laughs> you seem to be so busy that I can't imagine how you find the time to clean up around here. I'm also good at secretarial work too, so I'm sure I'd be a big help with sorting paperwork and whatever else you need. Just a standard wage is fine. Or even no wage. Unpaid is totally fine. I, I, I can't do that. Haven't you ever heard of labor laws? And forget that. This whole idea is crazy. How did me hiring you even get into your head? Well, it's because you won't accept any Mira from me. I understand you have your own way of doing things, but I have my own pride to satisfy, you know. You'll just have to compromise. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> now, let me just cut this tart into two so we can dig in and enjoy. <laughs> Don't this worry. Is unpaid I'll internship, make sure you get bro. The bigger portion. <laughs> I love that flabbergasted stuttering. <laughs> and where do you keep your coffee beans? Oh, there they are. Wait, how did you find them so? <laughs> Who said you could make yourself at home this fast? <laughs> Ah, we're four and a half hours in, and now we get the intro. <laughs> that sounds, that's about right for a Falcom game. Yeah, four hours before the anime opening. Received 10,000 Mira, and we got an achievement. Gotta keep this up. That's pretty good, I guess. Hey, <laughs> perfect timing. I was like, wait, did the game just do the anime wow thing? <laughs> you got me, ghosty. You got me. So we only got an A, huh? That means we missed stuff. We probably missed either... Um, we must have missed something. I wonder if we missed a, 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 a hidden side quest or something. Although I feel like we tried going in other places and it didn't let us. So I don't know. Maybe you can only get an A on the prologue. But let's see. Does it let us save? You can acquire SP Spriggan points by completing four SPGs and making optimal choices. Uh, oh, I didn't choose the central station. That's why we missed uh, the AAA. So yeah, but that's all right. So yeah, there are 15 ranks ranging from E to AAA. Ranking up nets you special items. That's okay. We'll do better next time. I'm Anya's Clodel. I still have a lot to learn, but I promise I'll do whatever I can to keep up. And yeah, we got a new recruit. All right. 
So it tells me we're going to get a lot of other characters. Uh, yeah, we'll just override this save. That is perfect. And you know what? We're just going to exit. Uh, we're actually going to exit right here. Let's let's do it. Uh, how do I exit? Okay, I know it says proceed, but I would rather just exit the game here. That's okay. You know what? I'll figure out how to exit that in a second. Uh, but in the meantime, let's uh, let's raid Freakbot because that's the this is the perfect stopping point. Now that we've seen the prologue in its entirety, uh, we're going to resume this at some point. Maybe not tomorrow because I really want to finish off uh, Mech Warrior Five. Uh, kill twenty seconds. <laughs> kill twenty seconds. I'll, I'll I'll wait twenty seconds. Sure. Um, oh, let's let's all save. There we go. Let's go to my ending stream scene here. While I get things set up here, um, but yeah, let's uh, let's see. Let's do a quick channel update now that I'm sort of still in the process of recovering, and while I'm killing 20 seconds here, I'll, I'll try to kill more than 20 seconds. Um, but in any event, let's uh, let's figure out this whole raid. Let's get this raid set up here, um, and let's see what I'll, uh, what what is Seraph doing here? Um, all right, let's go navigate this terrible fucking uh raid menu here but yeah channel update i'm gonna yes i got it I don't don't nag me to fucking collaborate twitch jeez <laughs> uh, oh so lame um okay so oh freakbot's talking about uh alien isolation so yeah there he's gonna be wait his new countdown is weird as fuck to read <laughs> Yeah, uh, that is that is a very yeah. I see it. I see a preview on this. Um, so yeah, he's about to uh, he's about to go into that. So yeah, we got this we got this uh, fired up here. Um, but yeah. Um, so anyway. So, uh, but as we get this this party getting ready to start here, um, I'm probably gonna have to mute his stream because I still haven't seen Alien uh, Romulus yet. But that's all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna we'll 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 do this raid and then I'll mute. Uh, and then I'll personally mute my uh, audio, uh, but I'll still text and say hello and all that while I get uh, uh, fired up for dinner and all that. So uh, as this, this gets started, let's see. Uh, channel update. Uh, I plan to stream tomorrow um, and we'll see if I stream E7 a little more or if I stream MechWarrior 5. I'm thinking MechWarrior 5. Uh, at this point, we're sort of closing in on the end of that game. I would like to finish it if I can. And I'm thinking if we stick to mostly pursuing the campaign now we should be able to finish off mech warrior 5 tomorrow and that would be nice uh i hope to be able to do that and um so that'll be that'll be my that'll be my main plan there um otherwise all right i've killed a little more way more than 20 seconds here let's get this raid started i will see you all uh in the pm tomorrow and until approximately later, I will see you guys later. In the meantime, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And yeah, have a wonderful weekend, everybody. I'll see you on the uh, flip side of the raid. And until next time, this is Seraph signing off. I'll see you all approximately later. Ciao.